Richard Lagarino, your friendly neighborhood seduction guru here, and welcome to Super Seducer. I'm so excited to be getting it into your hands. We had a fantastic time creating it, and I hope that you have a real blast playing it. But it's also going to be really interesting, I hope, and psychologically challenging because we used real dating principles in coming up with the game. So go ahead, jump in there, and finally, thank you so much for buying it, and I hope you really enjoy it. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen you in my yoga class. Do you go there? No, I don't do yoga. You don't? No. Not at all? We should try. Not the best way to start because she can just say no and brush you off. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. It's really summery. <laughs> Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yeah. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes and that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on. Okay. I'm sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on... Uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Because yeah. IT can be creative too, so... Sure, yeah. yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always 
ask, but in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. <laughs> Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, well, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like, come to this, and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something. And a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, yeah. Racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know. I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's um, it's like when you're you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back, and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. Kind of dangerous, but fun. No, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in. There's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day and um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Listen, I've got a few minutes right now, so do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go.
the very best result in the daytime is to go for the instant date. So that's correct. Well done. Uh, if you just leave and get the number, you know, that's okay. But it's much better if you can say, listen, I've got time now. Why don't we do something quickly? Notice that it's just a quick thing. So it's quite easy to say yes to. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow. Oh, 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 it's you from school. How are you? Oh, what's your name again? Uh, Rebecca? No. Michelle? No. Uh, what was it? Remind me, remind me. Who is it? I don't know. No, we went to school I together. Don't, don't worry. I don't remember Yeah, we were go in class. You were like sitting in the back throwing things and stuff. I was not yeah, doing that. Yeah, it was definitely. What, what's no. your name again? Anastasia. That's it. I knew it. Really? Yeah, What is yeah. your name? Richard. You remember me? Anyway, it's cool. We went to school together. So <laughs> really? That's the nice thing. Are you going to introduce that's me to your friends? a little bit creep, you know? Creepy? Yeah, because you're sitting, coming up here, sitting yeah. next to us and saying, oh, so telling us we babe, went to school together. Babe, we went to school for years together. So it's ah, like don't call already... me babe, all right? So well, I don't really know you, you look know? Class, Do you know mate. this guy? Look class, mate. You know, we went to school for you know, years. Please. Stop, stop being creepy. And please Are we leave us. Are you to school with us as well? No. I think you were. No, right? no, no. Just believe us. Yeah, we're kind of in the middle of conversation. You know? Well, now I'm in the middle of you. No, I don't think so. Mm, you're not very friendly, are you? No. It's kind of rude, isn't it? I'm just being Maybe. sociable. All right, I won't see you at the school reunion. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Have you seen him anywhere? Yeah. No, I don't know. Such an old line, you know? That's so boring. You know? Such a creep. We should get out of here, I don't know. I don't like this place. Yeah, we should go. You know how in court, the lawyer never asks a question or says something that might lead somewhere that he's not prepared for? Well, it's the same like this. When you're giving her an opportunity to say no and dismiss you, it's usually a bad thing. So, bad choice. Maybe we should go for a place. Hey girls, place. Yeah, sorry, okay. excuse me. Can okay. you help me with something really quickly? Uh, yes, okay, okay good. Mm -hmm. Right, what it is, is um, tomorrow's my best friend's birthday uh -huh. and she's a girl and she looks kind of similar to you, you know, kind of stylish and stuff. And I want it, she loves fashion. So I want to get her okay. something, you know, like something to do, like jewelry or clothes, stuff. You, you want to buy her a present? Yeah, yeah I okay. want to get her a present. She's just, she's just a friend, yeah. but I want to get her something really cool. She's a good friend. What do you think? Um, maybe you can give her a coupon, like a gift card to mm -hmm. some store. I don't like know. Zara or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Zara, I don't know. Right? Depends on what she likes. Yeah, she likes clothes and stuff. Yeah, so maybe the gift card would work for her. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. So it's a good choice here. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. So if you have something like this for real, or if you want to use the one in this uh, clip, then it will actually work in the bars. Good choice. Oh, that's great advice. Thank you very much. No problem. I think she'll like that. Yeah. So my name's Richard, by the way. Anastasia. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh, that's meet a nice name. I am. Oh, thank you. That's a good name too. I'm Richard. <laughs> that's a nice name. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a like old English name from oh, yeah? kings and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's correct because you know I've trained guys all over the world and I see them getting into these kind of present openers, opinion openers and staying on that subject for five minutes until it dies out and then they have to get out, out of there. So it's very important to transition quickly and a nice way to do it is just to introduce yourself and get their names. 
So how do you know each other? Uh, from school. From school? Yeah, ah, like well, university. When you were, ah, yeah, university. Yeah, college. Not school, like five no, years no, no, old. No, 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 no. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you were in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we studied different classes. Okay, let me guess. So I <laughs> think that you studied fashion <laughs> and I think you studied drama. Is that exactly right? No, opposite. No? The opposite. So oh, you opposite. studied fashion and she studied no. drama. No. no, I studied economics. Uh -huh. Yeah, I studied business. Okay. Yeah, so it no, has nothing, nothing to do with drama and fashion. Not really. Not really. I like that, you know, because a lot of people, they do like, I don't know, some simple, easy subject, but doing business is, is really nice. I like it. Yeah, but it's kind of a common thing to do in here. Yeah? I think so. What? So you think a lot of girls in this bar study business? No. I don't think so. I think, I think they study <laughs> Instagram. Oh, right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, did you do well at university? You got good grades? Uh, yeah, it was fine. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Well done. <laughs> You'll notice that in the interactions we want to balance validation, you know, saying well done, making the girl feel good, with things that are teasy or challenging. And in this case, it's something that they've worked hard on, it's an achievement, so why not say well done, you know, and give them some validation there for that. So how long have you guys known each other? For so long. Yeah, 40, yes. 42 years? <laughs> no, no, seven years. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. you look very young. I'm oh, thank joking. you. <laughs> Relief. And you know what? I would guess that she's like the crazy one, yeah? And I think you're the sensible one. So she's getting drunk and you're like, look, chill, come on, let me get you home. Is that right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, no, sometimes. It depends. Yeah? You know, it depends. Don't be shy. <laughs> she can go crazy. And she's the shy one as well. That's cool. Yeah, she is. A little bit. Nice. And who's the one who, like, um, who gives good advice out of you two? Who's the one who has problems and then who's the one that gives advice? Uh, we're girls, we always have problems. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> we're both, like, I think she's more. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Alright, cool. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would say we're equal, kind of. Mm -hmm. And have you two ever done the best friends test? Have you done it? Uh, no. no? Alright, let's do it right now. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what shampoo do you use? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, you don't even need to tell me. You've already passed the best friends test because best friends, they communicate unconsciously. So when you ask people, oh. yeah, if people are very good, you just did it again. So if people are really good friends, they always kind of look and then, you know, give the answer if someone okay. asks them something. And if you weren't good friends, you just answer directly. But it's like you're communicating something. Yeah, there you go. There you go again. Because just by the, way, the look in the eyes, you communicate so much when you know I each other very well. I pay attention on this. Too. Yeah, pay attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely true. Maybe I would do this kind of test. Yeah, try it. <laughs> there you go again. Yeah. <laughs> stop counting. All right, stop. This will work. It's a you know, famous PUA routine. If you learn it, it's something you can go out and use in the bars and clubs. I've seen it work all over the world and so you can do it. It's just a routine so it's a bit, you know, it's a bit lame um, in some ways to have something prepared but if you want to guarantee having conversations with girls then learning a few of these things is a nice way to get your social skills up and get comfortable talking to beautiful women because they are very engaging. So what were you doing before you came here? We went for dinner. Ah, uh, dinner, nice. Where'd you go? Italian? Or? <laughs> no. We had some fast food. Yeah, like burgers and fries. You know what, I do find that a little incongruent. You know, you girls mm -hmm. in your nice dresses, looking all fancy, and then you're just like, oh, eating burgers. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it feels a little bit weird, but... It's okay once in a while though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
this is perfect. You know, it's something that is very safe to tease about. It's not their, you know, their favorite thing in life. It's something that they know they shouldn't do. So it's a nice thing to tease a girl about. Perfect, because it's a tough balance, right? Because you like one of the girls, but you don't want the other one to get bored. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to give more attention to the girl that you're more interested in, but make sure that the other one is happy and likes you, but that she also knows that that's the one that you like. So what do you chicas like to do in your spare time? How about you? <laughs> Anya? I like to dance. You're a dance? Oh, don't say that about yourself. Mm. What did you say? I like to dance. Ah, dancing, yeah, yeah. nice. Okay, what <laughs> yeah. else? And um, I go to the gym a lot. Alright, cool. And how about you? Oh, I have so many interests. So, I watch movies, I'm crazy about TV shows, I'm like yeah. a freak, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Funny, mm -hmm. yeah. And I also like, love playing with my dog. But that's interesting actually because I was reading uh, this thing like a what was it in journal of psychology or something and okay. it said that um, people with pets and especially dogs and is it a boy or a girl? Or a, dog? a boy. Ah perfect. It said that um, people with opposite sex pets who uh -huh. really like them and you said you did um, it means they're really caring people in general in life. So. Oh. Yeah, it's very interesting Maybe. actually. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's the kind of idea that, you know, you meet someone and then if you find out they really like animals, they have a pet, yeah. it means they're, you know, you can trust them and they're probably huh. a good person. That's interesting. Cool, yeah. hey? Yeah. And is it true about her? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whether you love animals or not, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that she does, right? So it's something that you shouldn't turn into a joke, be rude about or, you know, contradict. Why not say something positive about it? And there's an example that you can use all the time because a lot of girls love dogs or cats. Listen, can you tell her to just stop talking so much? She's just talking all the time. Is she always like that? Uh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She doesn't really say yeah. much. Yeah. Huh? But she's Why? sweet. She seems very sweet. Yeah, she is. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you go to the gym, yeah? Yeah. And what about you? You do some stuff? Uh, just gym? do some yo jogging, you know, that's pretty Jogging? Neat. Yeah. Like when you steal someone's wallet and you run away? <laughs> that was a good one. Ah, something like that. Okay, wait, let me check your muscles. Oh, that's oh, not bad actually. Right? Compare. No, pretty weak, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, check this out. <laughs> Amazing, yeah? Like a rock. Oh, right. Actually, you want to check it? Check it. It's hard as a diamond. Mm. <laughs> yeah. cool. Amazing. This is always kind of playful and fun. Lots of girls will say they go to the gym and do stuff, and this is a nice transition from there. It allows you to get a little bit physical, and it usually brings out some smiles. So it's something you can try. Well done. It's the right choice. But you girls are in pretty good shape, so I think you must do more than jogging. You do some squats. Well, sometimes I play squash, but cool. not as often as I maybe wish. <laughs> okay, I play a little bit as well. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. What else? Anything else? Uh, I used to play basketball when I was in college, yeah. but yeah, it was a long time ago. And <laughs> hmm, that's cool as well. Yeah. You watch the NBA anymore. or you don't watch it? Uh, I used to, yeah. I was crazy about it, but... I have my job now and I don't have plenty of time, so mm -hmm. I don't watch it anymore All that right. often. Yeah. Girls, do you like psychology tests? Mm -hmm. Things um, like that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we can try. Well, who yeah. doesn't? Come on. I don't know, it's interesting. Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. Have you done this one called Strawberry Field Psychology Test? No. Okay, have try. No. Try this right now with me, both of you, okay? okay? So maybe close your eyes, it will help. So close your eyes and you imagine you're walking in some beautiful place and then up ahead you see a field of strawberries. And tell me, um, there's a fence around it. How high is the fence? Just show me with your hands how high it is. Okay, oh, okay, nice one. All right, that's enough. And then yeah, you can put your hand on. And then uh, the next thing, so you go in there 
and you want to eat some strawberries. How many strawberries do you eat? What's your answer? I will eat as many as I ah, can. Okay. <laughs> Anya, how about you? Me too. Loads of strawberries. Yeah, okay. Strawberries. Ah, but then you've eaten all the strawberries. You're leaving, and then the farmer comes, mm -hmm. and he's like, "You ate all my strawberries." And then what do you say back to him? I would just say, "I'm sorry." <laughs> what would you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> okay. All right. You can open your eyes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what it means, right?、Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. So the first one, how high the fence is, that's your barrier to sex. Yeah. Like how、okay. open you are, because strawberries represent passion and stuff、okay. for a woman. So yours was kind of here, so it's like medium. Yours was really high, like a huge fence. So it means you know you're quite difficult to have sex with, basically.、Mm. But、anyway, you don't have to answer if that's true or not. But then the number of strawberries you eat is your sexual appetite. Okay. So some girls maybe they say, oh, I always have like half a strawberry. And then she's like a girl that doesn't like sex. And then go have a few strawberries. But you,、yeah. what did you say? You ate every strawberry in the world. Oh、uh, yeah, like、so. okay. <laughs> all I wanted.、Yeah. And then the final thing is what you say after sex. So when the farmer catches you, so what do you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you say I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry after sex, right? It's normal. Yes. Right, That's、perfect. so funny. I, I'm、me. sorry. <laughs> I think that was dead on. Psychological <laughs> test win. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. Now, if you can be bothered to learn this, it actually is another thing that works. Again, it's prepared,、um, so it's not ideal. We don't want you to just learn a bunch of stuff and and go out and repeat it. But if you do find yourself in a boring situation, you know, a date that's not going so well,、uh, talking to a girl and you think she's not that into you, why not have it ready? You know, it's quite interesting, and you can always just say it's a psychology test that you、um, saw online, right? So what do you guys do? What about you, Anna? I have a fashion store. Ah、oh, yes,、yeah, selling clothes. Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't work at the moment. Unemployed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sometimes unemployed, but it's by choice. So for you, like you're you're looking for something, or you just.、Uh, Yes, I'm looking for something suitable for me. But what's your dream job? I want to open a flower shop. Oh, that's nice. Because when when you、yeah. said I don't do anything, I just thought you were at home painting nails, nails, and <laughs> like getting some food. <laughs> no, <dude too>. no. <laughs> and you buy your own drinks and stuff. So yeah, that's all right. You're still independent. Yeah, trying to. This is a nice, just、um, playful answer. Good one. You girls seem really nice, but do you have any bad habits? No. Drug abuse. No. no. Cigarettes. No. Ah, alcohol. Got、oh, you. That's, that's not a bad habit. Cheers. No. no cheers. Your liver's very happy with that. That's、so. all right. So Anya, I, I don't know why, but I trust you. You seem very honest. So tell me, is she a good girl? Yeah, she's a nice girl and very intelligent. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> she's nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, she's a good, good friend. friend. Right. Instead of directly saying, you know, I like you, a nice way to do it is to bring the friend in and ask questions about the girl you like. I've seen this work all over the world, and it's the right choice. Well, that's good that you were honest and told me that. Ah, actually, I'm honest. Yeah.、Um, I want to tell you,、uh, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got a boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, how long have you been together? For like a year. Oh, that's so sweet. So you're gonna、yeah. get married. I don't think so. I don't、oh, know. Oh no, that's really bad. So why? What's what's wrong with him? I don't know. We just have something. Yeah, problems. Yeah. Unresolvable, yeah. interminable problems.、But、yeah, that's I think、okay. so. I'm sure you still have some nice things in your relationship. Yeah, of course.、Mm -hmm. That's true. 
excellent because this allows you in a smooth way uh, to find out how serious they are in the relationship because if they're very very serious you want to back off if they're not so serious why not keep in touch with the girl keep her around and who knows one day when she's sing single Well, look, I don't want to disrespect your, your dude, so uh -huh. would you mind us talking? No. Like if he was watching us right now and we were like, he would be okay? Yeah. Yeah? If we took selfie and he saw it, it'd be okay? Mm, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's kind of chilled, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's good, right? Yeah. Not too jealous. This works psychologically because you're taking away her independence. You're saying, well, would, you, would he allow you? to talk to me like are you allowed to do that so she's gonna want to say of course i'm allowed i do what i like and you know our relationship's fine we don't you know i'm, I'm allowed to talk to other men she's not going to want to say actually i'm not allowed and you know i shouldn't do it because he controls me and tells me exactly what to do so it's the right option did you make any plans for later you're gonna go no, carry on the night no plans yeah how about tomorrow? You don't need to wake up because you're. I mean, you're not working at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. do you need to open your shop early in the morning? Or yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I I don't really need to do anything, so I can stay out sleeping. Yeah, you can. We need to get catch up some beauty sleep. <laughs> mm. I don't need it. <laughs> exactly. This is an important step. You're finding out important logistics that will tell you how easy it is going to be later in the evening to uh, take one or both of the girls and do something with them. Now listen, look, I, to be honest, I think you're really great girls. Thanks. You seem like really good girls and you're nice to talk to and stuff. So we should definitely do something sometime. We could play squash all together. Oh yeah. Or we could go to a fashion show or something because, you know, that'd be fun. Oh yeah, so okay. So why don't you, you give me your number and okay. then we can arrange something like to meet all together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe watch a movie or something. Yeah, movies are good. Oh, here you go. Now, if there are a couple of girls, why not take their number and suggest just meeting up again? Why do you have to be so fast and choose which one you want or, you know, try to get that one on a date? They're together right there. Maybe you suggest that you, could, you guys can all go hang out again. Maybe you're going to bring your friend and you can take it a little bit slower, bring these girls into your social circle. And in the end, it probably would work out better in a lot of cases. Okay, well, it was great speaking to you. I'll, I'll leave you yeah. guys to it. Okay. Have a nice time for the rest of the night. Yeah, have a good night. See ya. Yeah. See ya. He seems a really nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should go out. Yeah, one day. Yeah, cool. This is the kind of PUA opinion opener. Um, it's very good in that it will often get you into a conversation. In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational, so starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. I'm Richard. Jenna. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that 
that's it. You don't want to be, spend too long talking because it's a noisy dance floor. So that's exactly it. Very quick, then back to dancing. If you're just dancing kind of near her, then, you know, she could move away. So you want to escalate a little bit, get a little bit closer. I'm thirsty. Let's go get a drink. Yeah, sure. Right. Perfect. Because you're always waiting for the time on the dance floor to get off of there because you, you know, there's only so much you can do in that noisy, busy place. And the right time to do it is when the music changes and it's a lame track. So you really like dancing, eh? I do. Yeah, very much. But you seem sober. It's strange. Why are you in the club and you still seem sober? <laughs> I can't dance as well if I drink too much. <laughs> All right, well, we started now, so. Yeah, now it's okay. okay. No, I'm not standing. And I think, I saw you, obviously, I saw you on the dance floor, but I think before, did I see you in the smoking area? Was that you? Yeah, probably. Oh. You don't like smoking. Well, I don't smoke, but, you know, it's your choice. But I do hope one day you would quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm yeah? On it. Yeah, yeah, I am. All right. I I'll know help it's you. bad. I'll encourage you by reminding you constantly that it's... No, not really. I'll just encourage <laughs> you not to distract you. Well, thank you. you. That would be helpful. On one hand, you don't want to nag her. And on the other hand, you don't want to tell her it's great if you don't think it is. So this is the correct middle ground and it's the right choice. Well done. And so you smoke, but do you have any other bad habits, or is that it? Like... I think it's the only real bad one. I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, I don't know, not thief. Yet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Those, what's the word for the people that have to steal things? Like there's a um, technical. Oh, I don't remember. You know, you know there uh, is one though, uh, right? Um, Necro, it's like a, necro that's people that have sex with dead people. <laughs> Check <laughs> necrophilia, yeah? No. Uh, Not that. And I, I was thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping <laughs> one. But there's definitely one for stealing stuff. There is. Um, so, do you have any bad habits? Well, I don't think I have anything too bad, but it depends what you think. So, I don't know, like sometimes I might smoke weed. Um, <laughs> Haven't tried like super hard drugs, but a couple couple drugs. And aside from that, I don't know. Sometimes I can be really harsh with people, a little bit That's impatient. Good honesty. Impatient. That's... Okay. No, I'm sure I have some bad ones, but nothing nothing super bad, and definitely nothing like a you know a habit that that really annoys people. Okay, <laughs> That's good. Excellent. In this case, you want to have some honesty and, you know, sometimes the honesty can be shocking, surprising, but it has an interesting effect on her attraction levels. They're likely to go up. So tell me, do you have any good habits or like healthy stuff you do? <laughs> yeah, um, I dance a lot. Yeah. I like to go hiking. Um, I take my dog and we hike in the mountains a lot. Oh yeah. Um, it's great. And let me see. Yoga? Do you have a dream of like climbing Everest or Kilimanjaro or something no, like this? No, it's too cold. <laughs> too cold. I like to be warm. But I have some friends that climb Kilimanjaro and they're just regular people. Like they started in no. the morning and they got to the top by sunset or they had help. nightfall. Yeah, of course. They're guys carrying everything, but I don't it think seems I would like it. it's kind of easy. No, you no? would do it. Uh, I like to think I would. So, <laughs> but if you put me there, I don't know. <laughs> So you hike, what else do you do? Um, lots of sports. I like, I tried climbing recently. Sometimes I play squash, used to play tennis, but I guess now I just go to the gym a few times a week and that's about it. You go to the gym? Really? Look, I'm gonna be straight with you. It's quite a problem for me at the moment with girls because 
Uh, I just get too much attention and when I'm you know just slightly close to a girl she wants to get married and all of this stuff and I don't have a six pack so imagine if I add a six pack as well so I go to the gym but I'm always there and I'm like shall I do two more well I get to you know so the you girls like me a lot already so so you do it for chill. the benefit of women well, so you're not too hot do it for benefit of women I mean they're already benefited a lot so it's mainly for me but it's just that extra motivation that you get when you're single and desperate and you're like I need a girl come on one more rep and come you on. have so many you know, I do in this well when I'm single I do but when I have a relationship I only have one okay notice that this is said with a smirk but it is taking her attack and not being a wussy you know about it not crying about it not attacking her back being playful and playing this kind of arrogant cocky role that actually works really well when it's done tongue-in-cheek just think robert downey jr i'm trying to guess i mean when i look at you i think you're kind of i don't know something to do with music i don't know why i think <laughs> that but what did you study at university um i actually studied dance dance I stu did. you studied i did dance. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> I know they have like ballet schools and stuff, but you it's, can study. Uh, there's music at the university too. It's an uh, art school. Um, but oh. yes, dance, uh, ballet, um, jazz, hip hop. Yeah, cool. Just <laughs> a lot of things. Oh, shut, shut. Yes, yeah? exactly, exactly like that. Like we were here. Nice mm -hmm. one. And um, so that was university, but what's your job now? Are you something? I a actually dancer own or a something? dance studio. You know what, I really like that because it's something entrepreneurial and it's something where you're really doing something you're passionate about, yeah. right? Yeah, so, it's wonderful. No, big respect for that. Plus, you know, it's a big risk and not to be, I don't think it's sexist, I think it's the fact that women don't normally take those risks, like to, uh, to open their own business and stuff, so very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful. I love doing it. And tell me, what, who do you teach? Children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love kids. Like um, ballet for little girls. Ballet for and little girls, stuff. like five. It's so cute, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. They... five to ten. <laughs> and they actually love it as well. Yeah, we have um, we have a dance at the end of every class, uh, every mm -hmm. school period, like every six months. We have a dance mm -hmm. recital. Very cool. Thank you have you. some videos on YouTube of it. I do. You have to show me later. Okay. <laughs> This is undoubtedly a cool thing about her, so you definitely need to connect on it and compliment it because she's going to have a lot to say, a lot of emotions in there, and you want to be positive. I just noticed you got some tattoos. Oh, my eye. Yep. This is interesting. You've got like coordinates here. <laughs> yeah. what, what's that? Is some something special there. It is. Uh, I went to Iceland and ah. those are coordinates for my favorite waterfall from the trip. Oh, like and the most the, beautiful place or something. Yes, and the mountain range is Asia. It was uh, the first mountain range we drove through when we went. Mm -hmm. So very special. So the idea is that you had an amazing time and you just look at it and you... Yeah, it was the adventure of my life. So I wanted it forever. Nice, I get it. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what's that? But it makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. Cool. <laughs> If someone has an interesting tattoo, there's usually a story behind it. They're going to be uh, used to telling the story, but then by handling it in the right way, you'll still make them feel good and have a good moment of connection. So I think that's probably enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? Uh, it's kind of kind of strange, right? So I'm not I'm not like an accountant or whatever. So um, it's I make videos for YouTube, so okay. I could sound um, like a YouTube professional. <laughs> what sort of videos would you mean? Different videos like in different subjects giving advice about health and different okay. things and then uh, it kind of makes money by the advertising and you know when there's those annoying ads in YouTube? Yes. So basically that's, <laughs> that's how you make the money That's paying me like one cent each one or whatever okay. and it adds up. Interesting. So. Well I did notice that you were very well groomed. Oh thank um, you. I was hoping you didn't mean that you were into men. It's funny you should say that because I do have, you know, certain feelings of. You can just see, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm touching you, You're but it doesn't gay. mean anything because I'm gay, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Very gay. You feel it, right? That's why there's no chemistry. <laughs> None. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. When a girl challenges you, you don't want to get angry, you don't want to get defensive, right? So this is the perfect response. Well done for choosing. Um, you know when you date guys or meet guys, I assume you do sometimes, yeah? But <laughs> sometimes. is it usually in clubs? Because for me it's definitely mm. not. Um, no, I, I try not to. Um, it's not the best, right? No, it doesn't always seem like the most honest environment to meet someone. Yeah. Well, most people going to clubs, they're just looking for something that's not serious, right? That's the right. general thing. <laughs> yeah, or to have fun with their friends yeah. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I try not to. But you know what, the good thing, we've met, right, not mm -hmm. long ago, but we're not too drunk. We've managed <laughs> to find this quiet place for conversation, sure. so it's maybe, uh, we shouldn't categorise it as the usual awful club thing, right? Yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's not too personal, right? But where did you meet your last uh, boyfriend? Uh, dance, the university. <laughs> we were partners, so mm -hmm. by default, I guess we got very close. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we were partners, so it was just kind of natural, I guess. This is a great one to try, um, you know, you did it in the game, you can try it in real life as well. It works because you're bringing in that sexual element, but in a very smooth way, you know, it's not aggressive at all. It's kind of playful, but it works. So I actually didn't ask, but what did you study in school? Well, to be honest, I didn't go to university, but it's just because um, I didn't really like school when I was young. I was intelligent, but I was kind of bullied and kids called me ugly and stuff. Really? Yeah, I have no pictures from that time. I hated how I looked and everyone called me ugly. So it was, it was just unhappy. But it's okay, I'm all right now. But You're very handsome now. Oh, that's nice of you to say. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, I mean it. It's going to be very hard to resist the response, oh thank you, you too, or something like that. And actually it's much better not to because you've got into a great position where she's the one saying nice things about you and you want to keep her in that position where she's the one working harder than you are. Yeah, let's have a drink. Cheers by the way. <laughs> Cheers, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> mm. I know we haven't been talking for long but to me, it's, um, it's going pretty well so far, so I'm yeah. happy I came and talked to you. Me too. <laughs> You're not hungry by any chance. <laughs> I mean, I could be. Yeah, well, what food do you like? Mm, I usually like pretty healthy foods, um, but I also really like hamburgers. Huh, what? <laughs> How does that work? I don't so know. you're usually healthy and then just like once in yeah. a while just. It's like the you know, guilty something. pleasure food, you know? Okay. Cheat day. Yeah, I get that. I'm quite healthy as well. <laughs> Are you? All the time. Do you like burgers? No, I think my guilty food would be uh, pizza, pasta, ice cream, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Not all at once. But you're but healthy. Something like that. But yeah, 99% <laughs> healthy. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's the correct choice because a lot of guys go to clubs, meet girls, get off with them, and then the girls see it as a bit of fun and they don't respond to the messages. So if you actually want to see a girl again, you do want to slow things down, chill for a bit, and get that real connection that can go along with the sexual stuff that you can always bring back at any time. It shows a lot of confidence and control as well. It's getting kind of, uh, I don't know, it's getting kind of boring in here. I think we should head on to an after party. What do you think? You fancy yeah. keeping the night going? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, brilliant. Well, some friends are coming around as well, so let's go there, join them. Um, my place is pretty big, and if you want to invite your friends as well, you can, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's All go. Right.
This is good. It's a very logical extension to, um, you know, close a night out at a club to go to an after party. So why not suggest that as a way to carry on the evening with her somewhere more conducive to taking things sexual? In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational. So starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. That's it. You Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using this chair? No. Oh, great. I just joined you then. Okay. How's it going? That's all right. How are you? Good. My name is Richard. Richard Brenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I just saw you reading and I thought I'd come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. So. Oh, okay. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you pull it off with you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. And you normally read uh, philosophy? Uh, no. I mean, I think, well, in every book there's a little philosophy. I'm not a huge Kafka fan. I was just in Prague recently. Oh, he's from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. oh, that's well, he's, interesting. Yeah, for his houses. I didn't know actually. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you go, they'll they'll talk about Kafka. So. Nice. And what else do you like to read? Do you like? I generally read fiction, non-fiction. Fiction and like 20th century American lit. Okay. Who's that? Mark Twain or something? <laughs> mm, like Salinger or maybe. I just recently read a novella called A Day No Pigs Would Die. Really a day nice. no pigs would die. Yeah. That's like when everyone's vegetarian or Muslim. Well, I won't spoil it, but you're on the right track. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Yeah. What do you cool. read? Um, I read a lot of different stuff. So I, I like um, business, biography, psychology, uh, philosophy too. And I like old English classics and Russian classics. Russian classics, yeah. such as? Mm. Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, you all, like Tolstoy? all the usual stuff. Yeah, I think he's a great writer. Mm -hmm. And obviously in translation maybe it's different, but um, yeah. it's still very cool. What about Bulgakov? Yeah, Master Margarita yeah, and stuff. Like yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, I like Russian lit. Nice one. Mm -hmm. That's good, we have something in common already. Yeah, I, I guess so we do. Correct. It's important to always focus the conversation on the girl as much as possible because then it's just going to be more interesting for her. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home or, or from anywhere. But um, say like internet stuff and with America, so in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever, so right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's <laughs> so nice. That's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Do you teach at the university? That's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, <clears throat> I actually do. I honestly, I feel like what I do is important and that the information I convey will be valuable to these people and to my students. That could be true because I still remember uh, my teachers from primary school mm -hmm. and uh, in secondary school, I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most where the teachers were good? Mm -hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. Absolutely. And like looking back and thinking, what years of school are your favorite? It's like, well, whatever year you had the good teachers, because what you learn is kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? I think so. I hope so. <laughs> That's I cool. try. No, I like it, to be honest, because it's, 
it's very rare. You know, most people just do their jobs for money and mm -hmm. then they come and moan about it and they hate it. So it's good to meet someone like you who actually enjoys what they do and is making a difference. Thanks. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option and it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why, or she's not and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Huh, what, what does that entail? So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Back to the Future, the movie? Mm, I don't see how, I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they're de they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah? In American culture, what's that? It's like uh, George Steinbeck, Edgar Allan Poe and all that stuff? Or? Sure, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our, my focus is more on what we can call contemporary culture. Britney Spears. Sure. Kanye. Sure, that is all yeah? relevant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it must be really interesting for the students. They're not learning about things thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think so. And just kind of seeing how the, you know, the Kanye's and the Kardashians, how their influence reverberates through American society and how that affects how Americans think. Mm. And why is it useful for the students? Because a lot of these students aren't going to stay in their in, in their home country and yeah. at some point they'll be interacting either with, they'll either be in the United States or just interacting with Americans and to have some perspective on their psychology or their ideology, yeah. whatever it is. I guess it's, it's important, right? Because yeah. American culture is pervasive, you know, it's kind of it everywhere could be said, yes. and seems to lead the world. So I know that mm -hmm. in England we're always like a few years behind America with all the trends and everything and mm -hmm. it all follows and then Europe a little bit later, but mm -hmm. no, it's pretty cool then. And more than that, it must be really interesting for the, the kids. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Mm -hmm. When someone has something that they actually care about in their life, you don't want to tease them about it or denigrate it. So it's good to give them some validation on something like this, you know, the job that she's obviously passionate about. I really enjoy my job, but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've got this problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home. But then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Ah, oh, well, that's bad. So I guess you don't have enough like papers for the students and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. Mm, I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share, but yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done, you weren't distracted by the sexy chick that walked by and that's something that, you know, you can use out there. Well done for paying attention and getting the right response. So you've got your teaching thing, and what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs, and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit, these last couple of years especially. Nice. And where are some places you've been? Uh, in Europe, I've been in Prague, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia. Nice, all, all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like if people who have never travelled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. Actually, I went there as well, and it was very beautiful, but tell me, what, what did you really like about it? Well, I, I suppose the fact that it is beautiful, and I think I was there at a time in my life when it was really impactful, so I was the right age, and it was the right time, and 
so it was meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm excited to return. I think next summer I'll go back. Oh uh, yeah, very cool. I'd like to go back as well. So if I'm in America mm -hmm. and I'm nearby the Grand Canyon, which I guess nothing's nearby, but if I also want to go... You're in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Then, um, yeah, we could, we could go. Okay. It'd be nice. Yeah. Good one. That's exactly right. When someone can talk about something passionately, you want to give them a chance to do that, not cut them off, talk about yourself, ask boring questions. Just give them a chance to open up. This is the perfect subject to connect on. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. So are you not gonna get any coffee? Oh, well actually I was, I was over by the bar just uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there and I try not to drink too many. I get, it actually has a strong effect on me, so I don't need that much energy. I've, I've had enough, so I'm, I'm good. Correct. Now, most guys can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool, makes you look very confident and strong when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because it shouldn't always be you, right? Tell me some things you like to do for fun. Well, since I as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball, so that's oh, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I mm -hmm. played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play... I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and whoosh, smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. Russian? Yeah. Huh. You know, I meet loads of people that speak, what, French, English, obviously Spanish, German, mm -hmm. but Russian, it's really rare to, to meet someone who speaks Russian. It's yeah. pretty cool. How come you chose yeah. that? I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school, I did a I had the opportunity to do a study abroad and my choices were France and Russia and I didn't want to go to France so I went to Russia and then I just never quit. Mm -hmm. I actually like that you chose something tough mm -hmm. and that you stuck with it mm -hmm. and you know like I said most people take the easy options all the time so it's interesting and cool that you did that. Thank you. Nice one. You know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So, you know, say well done, say you respect that and say why, and then go deeper into it because, you know, you need to find out why she would do that, why she was interested, what would make her spend the time on it. And it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? Um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was when I was young, I, I lived in South London, and they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London, and things like this. But um, because I travelled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. So you like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's Pleasant. kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak it. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America, we have a very good reputation. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking and stuff. So mm -hmm. their reputation's quite bad. But oh, how do you find that. it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally People have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and Americans, but I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not. That's good, right? Put on a bunch of, not, oh, yeah. We're lucky. Uh, we don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us almost anywhere we go, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is the right choice and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences so it can lead to some nice conversation.
What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? <laughs> when the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say yeah. it's really unhealthy, but... It I seems unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... It's know. healthy? Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe. When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like, active stuff you like to do? It's yeah. Like volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens. Yeah, wow. We, we exist. That's interesting. I've never, never done fishing, but I love the outside as well, you mm -hmm. know, walking in uh, parks or, yeah, mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like that. How about bi bicycle? I like that too. Yeah. Well, that's something else we could do one day, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. And are you busy this week? Like, what are your plans for the next few days? I'm pretty busy. I have a, a my friend is having a party tomorrow, and then this weekend I'm gonna take a train up to Vilnius. Mm hmm. So, pretty busy. You have free time, though. No? Maybe. Which Maybe day? on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I might be free on Sunday as well. Okay. That's exactly right. Now think about this. Have you ever texted a girl saying, hey, can you meet tomorrow? She's like, oh, I'm not in town. And you say, okay. And then text her in a few days. Hey, can you meet tonight? Are you around? Sorry, I've already got plans. Well, to avoid this kind of dumb situation when you end up not seeing her again, why not find out at the time of meeting her what her plans are for the coming week? It's very easy to find out in person and saves the need for sending loads of dumb text messages that get you rejected. So it's the correct choice. So you like um, hiking and outdoor stuff and mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment so one day we could take a little trip or I don't know meet in the evening anyway lots of stuff we've got lots of stuff we could do together so why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. It flows very smoothly to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. Okay, so I, I better be going. See ya. Okay, bye. This one is counterintuitive, but it's exactly the right answer. The reason is that if you're too friendly at the lead and like, okay, see you again soon, it's lovely to meet you, really enjoyed it, see you, see you, bye bye, like that, then it just means that she knows that you like her, she's, she knows you're going to message her, and she's not really thinking about it. If you do the opposite and you're kind of cold, she might think, hang on, did I do something wrong there at the end? Does he really like me? Will he message me? Does he want to see me again? Just makes you look very cool and keeps her thinking about you in the interim. Uh, between the time where you say bye-bye and the time when you message her and get in touch again. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you...
So I haven't seen you for a while. How's it going? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. I was That's very good. busy at some point, but yeah. I'm very, very well now. Have some more time. What have you got going on at the moment? Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign up for some design designer courses. Oh yeah. Yes. That would so be good. Excited. You wanted to do that, right? Yes, I'm very excited about that. Very cool. What else? Nothing. Not much. Enjoying nice weather. Just very happy. Mm. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. What's going on? Um, nothing. I'm not that busy. Kind of relaxed, uh, enjoying life. Have some trips planned and stuff. Mm. Do you have anything nice. planned? Holidays or anything? Uh, this weekend I'm going to music festival, mm -hmm. and I was gonna ask you to come. Uh, oh, I'd love to come. Uh, no, I was gonna ask you to come and to take care of my cat. Oh. Okay. Do you have free, some free time? Just a few times during this weekend to come and to cook for it, for to Tom. Cook? Yes. You mean open the tin and like? No, what? no, 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 no. He's not eating that. No, oh. no, of course. He needs uh, you, to, somebody to cook for him. And I was gonna ask you. And I don't know. Just spend time with him, stroke a little bit. You know, put him in the bed when he falls asleep. Can you do that? You'll like it. He's very sweet. Uh, you know, I'd love to help, but actually I'm, I'm pretty oh, busy no. this week. Yeah, I don't think I'd have time. Sorry, maybe... Please think about it. Maybe you can do it. Just a few hours a day. Well, maybe I could, but I'm not sure, you know, what time I'm free and stuff. And I don't want to tell you I can and then your oh, cat's like waiting for I can ask you a salmon and stuff and then I'm not there, you know. Okay, never mind. You can find someone else, I'm yeah, sure. sure. Next time, next time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to say no and the, you know, these girls that put you in the friend zone that always ask favours and, you know, you're kind of chasing them all the time. The way to break out is to start treating them more like a friend rather than a girl that you're trying to date and this is a way to do it. So it's the correct option here. Who are you going to the festival with? With my boyfriend. Ah, this guy, yeah. Um, how, yeah. how is that, by the way, relationship? It's okay. It's okay. Only okay? It's not perfect. Ah, tell he's me more. Very, he's very busy recently. We don't get enough time together. So I, actually I see him like once or twice a week. He's always in the office. Or even at, when he's at home, he's on his computer. So there is not much communication between us. So he doesn't really pay attention to you and stuff? Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like that to me. Probably his project taken too much time. But you know what, what you have to think about is maybe you would moan if you didn't have a job and you're like, oh, he's just sitting around the house doing nothing. And now you're like, oh, now he's working too much. So it's a bit like Goldilocks, right? You know, it's better that he's doing that than something else. And maybe be happy that he's passionate about his work and that he's, you know, serious. Sometimes I'm like that too, just working on something and just get really into it. Rarely, but sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if that's... If that's his passion, of course I agree, but what about me? What about my passion? What yeah, about just wait for your time, you know? Your time will come. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting for something to come. I want to live this moment. Maybe get involved in it. What is he, what is he working on, his project? Some IT projects. I've got no clue about. Maybe, no, you know, try interested. and find out about it and share it with him. Say, so what you what you coding today? So I need to be... Uh, smart and like tricky to get some attention. I don't deserve attention from him just because of who I am. Well, you do. I think just wait and see what happens, but it's understandable. I'll wait a little bit, yes. A few weeks maybe, I'll wait. When a girl complains about her man, you actually don't want to say, yeah, it's so bad, he's terrible, you should leave him. So this is the correct option because you want to think about this. She's attracted to that guy for a reason. So do you want to be like him or you want to be the opposite? 
You know, you want to be a bit like him, but slightly better. So you can say it in a playful way, um, or you can say it seriously, but kind of taking his side is actually a good thing psychologically and will work. Anyway, let's change the subject. How are you? How's it going? Work? Yeah, work's all right. I have some, I have some interesting projects, actually. And one of them didn't work out, but two are looking really promising. And if mm, something happens, it could exciting. be pretty big. Yeah, so I won't say more because you know what I'm like. I'm more action than yeah, words. So true. I'll tell you if it works out. And okay. oh. Are you looking at this gun? Okay, you got me, but look at her boobs. She's got this amazing... She's very nice. Really it's beautiful, she's got yes. this sexy tan and look at her fanny there. You can kind of see the outline. It's just... Oh, uh, yeah. Really, really sexy. Imagine just quickly slipping it in. Oh, stop it. I don't want Sorry. to imagine right, that. But... She's beautiful, yes, but okay. let's stop talking about it. Let me just look a little bit more. Um, I'll pretend I'm drinking my coffee. This girl's just your friend. Why not look at her? Of course that's the right thing to do. Why not talk about, you know, being interested in other girls? It's exactly what you should do if you're just this girl's friend and if you want her to like you more than she does. That's very annoying because guys always do that on a date with a girl, they're yeah. checking out other girls and they think cool. girls don't see it, but they do actually. Uh. And what's the problem with that? Makes me feel like I'm not beautiful enough, to be honest. No, there's nothing wrong with the way you look, and I think you just need to be more confident. Very sweet. Thank you. I'll try. Now here she's trying to bait a compliment, but you didn't fall for it, so well done. That's exactly what you should do, just a quick response with the facts. By the way, I saw your ex-girlfriend a few Agatha? days ago. Yes, oh. her. She was with a nice guy. Nice guy? That's yeah, nice what, one. Well, he looked good and... He did. And she he looked did. happy. And she did. That's shit. So they looked honest. happy to me. Do you still have feelings for her? Well, I don't want to be with her, but I'd rather she was unhappy not being mm. with me, you know, than happy with some dude. Right. And how about your love life? Are you still single? Yeah, I'm still single, but I did have a date recently with this oh. girl. Yeah, and nice. she was, you know, she's very pretty. But also she's just really intelligent. We had a mm. great conversation. So only one date so far, but definitely want to see her again because she seems she seems great actually. Okay. I'm happy for you. It's not sexy to just let her think that you're chilling at home playing PlayStation and you know, never seeing any girls. So why not have a dating life? It's gonna make you more attractive, make her work harder to try and get you and move you out of the friend zone so that she sees you in a different light. It's the correct option. Remember that you need to treat her just like one of your average friends. You know, sometimes you can be busy, sometimes you can be doing stuff. You want to move away a little bit so that she starts working harder for you. That's fine, you're not there immediately, but you know, you're still offering to help her. You're just not as available as you maybe have been in the past because you want to move out of the friend zone.
Senor, your text it sounded like something yeah. serious is going on. What? Not how are you doing? Serious. Not very good. Uh, why? It's my boyfriend. We it's, broke it's, up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We did. Mm. It was actually the right time to finish our relationship to end it. Yeah. Um, three years. Yeah, after it's all terrible. These years. Yes, I thought he he was the right person to be my husband. Mm. Um, not now, right? Yes, mm. not now. We couldn't sort out our relationship, and I had to end it. Mm, that's awful. Yeah, so bad. Yeah. You must be really sad. I'm very sad. Mm. I'm very disappointed. Okay. Well, look, I've got something that might cheer you up. Hang on a second. Okay. I know you like wine, so I got you this, this mm. nice uh, bottle of Pinot Grigio. Yeah. Well, it's like twelve dollars, so I think it's a good one. Yeah. It sounds good. Yes. Do you want some? Yes, please. All right, cool. It's nice and chilled, so I'll just get. I'll pour Thank it. you very much, Richard. If someone's coming to your house to chill, then wine should always be on tap. If you don't have some alcohol in the house and you do drink and you're meeting girls that drink, then go get some. Okay, mm, take this. Cheers. Cheers. Nice, Very right? Nice. <clears throat> so, tell me what happens. We're going to talk about it anyway. Better to get it out of the way. Um, nothing special. Mm -hmm. uh, I just took a minute to analyze what's going on and uh, I realized I wasn't happy mm. in this relationship and I thought that relationship is something nice yeah. but it wasn't for me and it was the right time to end it up. Hang on a minute, so you ended it? Yeah, Oh, that's, that's worth the cheers. You know, I understand because it's hard now because you were spending every day together and it's like, you know, something missing from your life that was always there. But that doesn't mean that it was good, right? So it will be hard for you, but it's still the right decision. It and is. And you will sure. be happier for sure. So awesome. it's all going to be okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Of course, anytime. How about you? How's your love life? Oh, well, my love life? Well... I had some dates, but didn't meet anyone special yet, so it's okay. Okay. Correct, that's the right option. So I guess you haven't been home crying all day, right? You've been doing things to distract yourself? No, home. of course not. Mm -hmm. I was trying to distract myself. I finally had my yoga Ah, classes. yeah, cool. That's nice, relaxing yes, and stuff. meeting my friends for mm -hmm. coffee. Friends I haven't seen for ages. You yeah. finally have time for you. Yeah. And uh, shopping. Ah, you were shopping. That's well, that's yes. like the common one, right? Women when they probably yes, want to feel I was better go shopping. At them, but like it, it really works, <laughs> you know. In fact, I got this dress. Tell me mm, if you like show it. Show me. Yeah. yeah, I mean the blue is your color probably, so... It's gold, isn't it? Um, it's clearly blue. Anyway, do you like it? Yeah, I mean I'm not a, a dress expert, you know, That's which is good probably for a man, but I think it's nice, yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's the right response. Well done. Just, um, you know, quite matter of fact, but being positive. So tell me about that girl that you said you liked and oh. you had a couple of dates. Oh, Rebecca, yeah. Well, we had a nice date. Okay. Um, but then um, I kind of texted her like, hey, how are you? Let's meet again soon. Go for a drink or something. And uh, she didn't reply, but I don't know, maybe she died or is in hospital mm. or lost her phone or something like this. The reason for that is because you're too awkward. Awkward? Sure. Me? Yes. 
You don't have uh, social skills at all. Ma, awkward. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you something about that. What? What's that? <laughs> He's awkward <laughs> now, eh? The cup ticklish you are. You're so <laughs> awkward. Yeah. So embarrassing to be with someone so awkward. <laughs> this is actually a very good way to escalate things because it's kind of between playful and sexual. So it should be accepted by most most girls. They should be fine with it, but it allows you to get a little bit intimate. So tell me, have you got anything nice to look forward to? Any plans coming? Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. First of all, I'm going to Russia to see my parents and my grandparents. Babushka, I haven't seen yeah. them for ages. Back to Russia. <laughs> yes. You're going to meet Putin? Mm, hope so. <laughs> Hopefully okay. I will. Excellent. No. And, then, <laughs> and then when I'm coming back, mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting my interior, interior design course. Ah, very cool. Very yeah, you were talking about that for a long time. Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting. And now it's starting. Brilliant, that'll be great. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, it All is. right, well, cheers. Uh, actually, the third toast, you need to drink it all. That's like tradition oh, in, really? my, in my family. Oh. And, yeah. I'll try. So anyway, yeah. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's that? Useless. I have to do it, but it's only because it's my oh. family tradition, okay. you know, not because... You You're know. not nervous or something? No, of course uh. not, but just for tradition. Oh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you when you're away. Mm, you know that? I'm gonna, gonna miss you. you. You're gonna miss <laughs> you. In the wind this year. This is another nice way to escalate. Again, you know, it's a bit of fun and they're smiling. And it's actually easier to go for the kiss when the girl is relaxed, smiling, and you're in this playful kind of situation. This is so weird. We shouldn't do this. This is a bit of uh, psychology here because you can think that the possible objection is that she becomes uncomfortable, she remembers that you've been friends for so long, you shouldn't do it. Uh, so if you're the one to voice this concern, then she's likely to take the opposite tack. So it's the right choice, very smart, bunch of psychology at work here, and it works very well in practice. Feel a bit more comfortable. Right? This is the right choice. You kind of want to find a balance between moving really fast and aggressively um, to kind of being too slow, right? So carry on, escalate things slowly, uh, let her get comfortable and used to the fact, and also get her more turned on. Do you have a condom? Yeah, of course I've got one. I've got one right here. Mm, my shoe. Yeah, prepared. Yeah, my mum told me. <laughs> now, you don't want to break the action and the mood, so to speak, so make sure that you've got some strategic placements around the house so that you don't need to go, go far or even worse, you know, run down to the store to, to buy something. Open the door, oh yeah, of course. There you go. Thank you. 
That was amazing, but do you think it will ruin our friendship? You can try. This is psychology at work here. You're the one that voices the concern so that she's going to present the other argument. And that stops her going home thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this. Actually, it's bad. Maybe we shouldn't do it. And texting you that she doesn't want to carry on any kind of romantic relationship. So it's the right choice. Sometimes we need to say no. And the... Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very nice. You look great. Thank you, so do you. Cheers. <laughs> we'll take a seat. I ordered you some tea. Thank you, you that's like perfect. Tea, right? I do. I mean, you're not English, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you drink tea too. I still like tea. Cool, so how have you been? Good, busy. Yeah, busy? Yeah, work. Hmm. It's been overwhelming. You told me, what was it you said? You said you work in a charity or something, but I yeah. don't know what it is. What, <laughs> uh, what non-profit, animal shelter, doing cat rescues. A cat shelter, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. So <laughs> you're just doing that, and I guess you don't get paid to like <sighs> no. millions to work there. No, yeah? it's very small and usually, usually actually free. Very um, cool. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It helps helps out a lot. So you love cats, and you just decided to <laughs> do something. Yeah, I love all animals, but uh, cats here need most help. That's great. So. I'm sure people love you for that. Then some people. <laughs> most people like cats. I like cats. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's good. Do you have any? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should you should stop by, and I can maybe help you find one. Okay. Well, actually, I travel a lot, so it's it's not it's not good. But okay. I can come by and just you know play with them and whatever and then that would be nice cool <laughs> when someone does something like this you know charity something that they really care about don't tease it don't take the piss don't be rude about it connect on it. so what does your work entail there are you like you know holding a ball of string all day playing <laughs> with the cats <laughs> <it> no <laughs> serious stuff that's part of it but um actually we do transports nationwide mm. so if the shelter is full then we find someone who can take it elsewhere in the country to save its life. Um, okay. That's actually the reason it's been really busy is a cat I had adopted. I lost him. So you lost him? He's, yeah, he's been adopted and I opened his cage and he ran out um, and I don't really know how to tell the people. So he's like somewhere in the building? Or yeah, hopefully. Could be anywhere. <laughs> he could be anywhere. He may have found his way outside. But um, I don't know how to tell the people. So maybe you have an idea? Well, you know what? I think you should just tell the truth because it's always my philosophy that nothing bad can happen as long as you tell the truth. So I think you should own up to it. Yeah, I think you're right. If you can show good moral fiber, why not, right? It's a good thing to do and it makes you look good. And at the same time, giving her some good advice. Um, I actually don't think you told me what you do. Oh yeah, I didn't, did I? No. <laughs> Actually, I run an obedience school for small pets like gerbils and hamsters <laughs> and whatever, you know, teaching them how to, uh, you know, be good pets, basically. No, you're making fun of my shelter <laughs> thing a bit. What do you really do? Oh, well, it's not that interesting. I'm, I'm a QA manager at a software company, but don't need to bore you with the details, right? <laughs> All right, fair enough. When a girl asks you what to do, if you do something that's not so interesting, or if you just want a little bit more humor, you can say something like this and it will get a smile. The key though is that when she perseveres to ask, you stop the joke at some point and, you know, turn serious again. So what do you do outside of work? Um, what do I do? So I do some fitness stuff and I study languages Great. and what else? I've, I play chess as well. I don't know how to play chess. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't know how the pieces move or you can't play very well? <laughs> I can move them, I just don't know how the you game You know what works. they're called? Like the horse and whatever. <laughs> Is there a rook? <laughs> yeah, a rook. Thing? yeah, rook or castle, okay. yeah. I know some. Okay, well it's quite easy to learn and it's really, I think it's 
quite cool for the brain. My mum bought me a chess set and then Great. I thought, okay, it can't just sit there. I'm going <laughs> to learn how to play. Cool. You have to teach me. Mm -hmm. And what else? I like, um, I like photography. It's probably actually my major hobby. The really? thing I spend the most time doing is photography. Oh, that's great. Why, why do you like it? Well, actually, there was this time when I just uh, borrowed a friend's camera and mm -hmm. I just took some pictures and I loved it. And then everywhere I was going, I was looking at things and thinking, oh, that would make a nice shot. That would make a nice shot. I uh, took some pictures of friends and, you know, they all used it as their Facebook profile <laughs> pictures. <and I> was <laughs> like, like a headshot. Yes, yeah, so I, cool. I just really got into it. And I guess I, I might have some talent. So, you know, I keep it. But it's just a hobby. I'm not thinking about it too seriously. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. That's, yeah. that's great. I can take your picture if you like. Do you like having your picture <laughs> taken? <laughs> sure, yeah, we could try. Cool. I, I could use a new profile photo. Yep, yep. When you have something that you like doing, why not be a little bit passionate about it? Tell her why. Try and, you know, get that infectious emotion spread to her. So, yeah, that's the right answer. So, I actually do photography too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, what camera do you use? Uh, I use Canon 5D Mark III. It's a good one. It's better than mine. Oh, yeah? What do you have? <laughs> iPhone? A 40D. And, yes, in an iPhone. Um, but I use a 40D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually uh, got into photography because I modeled. Okay. Kind of still do a little bit here and there. Well, that's cool. Actually, I, you know, I know a lot about it through the photography, but right. it's quite hard work, isn't it, actually? Yeah. People think it's easy, you know, just sitting there having pictures taken. <laughs> yeah, there actually is a lot of hard work. You have to know all your best angles and, you know, Practice able posing to, and whatever. Yeah, and have emotion in your face. You can't just have a blank yeah. face, and that's actually much harder than people think. Especially at the end of a long day, right? You're tired, yeah. and the lights are on, and and the shoes hurt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. But there are pluses, hard. right? So, do, did you get to travel to any cool countries for, for mm, modeling? Never out of the country yet, but I've been to a lot of states and different cities. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, good. Well done. Now, think about how you can apply this as well in your life. Think about how, even if you're not connected to a subject, you can kind of learn how to be empathetic, empathetic, not pathetic, and try and put yourself in their position, uh, feel how they might feel, and think about why they would choose to do that. So, you know, that kind of thought allows you to have very nice connected conversations, and this is an example of it. So you've got your cap shelter work, mm -hmm. you do some modeling, you yeah. do some photography, so yes. you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah. Do you have, do you have right. time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors. So mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym. So hiking is like my way of working Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Oh, movies. Okay. Mm -hmm. what's, what's like the... Best movie you've seen that you really love recently? A nice hard overall. So like oh, it's recently. so silly. But it's kind of like a guilty pleasure movie, but um, Jurassic World. Okay, did, did you understand it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty... You probably didn't. Basically, they were in this uh, theme park and then the dinosaurs uh, got loose and mm -hmm. they started eating everyone and then they had to, you know, hunt them down and escape and, and be safe. So right. you, you get it now, yeah? <laughs> I basically got that. Yeah, right, it's cool. good. <laughs> it's a good rundown. It's quite a complicated movie, right? Yeah, very, very so hard to follow. So save you watching it a few times, like, that's what happens. <laughs> I'll never have to watch it again. Yep, nice one. This is great. And uh, think about how you can do this because you often have this kind of subject come up, you know, talking about books, films, whatever, and you can playfully explain it to her because obviously she's got no idea what happened and she's going to laugh. It's going to be funny. Uh, go ahead and try it with girls. So what sort of movies do you like? I know everyone says it, but I do have a, a varied taste. So if you looked at my iTunes, um, I've got foreign movies, you know, Korean, French, wow. uh, Spanish. A lot like, of subtitles. Yeah, lots of subtitles. <laughs> I don't, I'm not scared of subtitles. And what else? I've got like the silly action movies, all the Schwarzenegger stuff, and then like the Panero, um, Panero. De Niro. <laughs> De Niro okay. and De Niro. It's like De Niro and Pacino. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that, right. we can use that for you the like genre. Them, you like them both? Yeah, like the mafia stuff. Heat, right. you know, all Anything that. Anything so. recent? A uh, recent movie. I 
actually I just threw my TV in the trash and I, I don't really go to the movies. I think that, you know, when it comes to all this, there's just more important things in life to do than sitting down watching something passively. Why don't you read a book? That's true. That's fair. I actually kind of like that answer. Good, good. This is an option, you know, where you've chosen to be a little bit out there, a little bit straight and direct, but then she's actually followed you into it and validated it. So it's quite risky, but when you take a big, you know, position like that and you can convince them to it, it's very attractive. And I like, you know, really talented actors, but... Sure. What do you think? Would you be a good actress? Could you, like, cry on call? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Are you a good liar? That sounds liar? hard. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm really not. that's kind of connected, right? I can lie for, like, a minute and then I feel really bad about it and I admit it right away. Hmm. So I'm not sure if you'd be good, but do you have any other talents? Mm, I play the violin. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Since I was, like, five. And you still do it? You kept it up? Not as much as I should, but yeah. Well, that's impressive. Thanks. It's hard. What area do you live in, by the way? Do you live close by? Kind of. Um, I live in the northern part of Chelsea. Are mm -hmm. you close? Uh, now I'm not too far. Just um, bought a place in, in Soho, so oh, I'm, wow. I'm quite close by. That's yeah. a great area. Yeah, it's it's nice. You know, I wanted to I wanted to get a cool place with a view, and you know, I like the area. So yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Cool. Have you ever lived anywhere else abroad or anything? Only in the in the states. Okay, I actually tried living in a few places. Really? Uh, yeah, I lived in Rio. Wow. Um, of course, lived in London, lived in New York. Yeah. That's really awesome. Lots of different places. It's really really cool. Rio is um, very nice. Is it? It's it's a little bit dangerous. It's a carnival. Yeah, they yeah. have carnival, it's uh, like two weeks, it's pretty crazy, <laughs> and New Year's is big there, but, you know, very nice weather, it's got the beach and very beautiful city. That sounds fun. Well done. Now, what you need to do is think about the things in your life that are kind of show-offy, where you went to school or your possessions, whatever it could be, and then if you do want to brag about it, which you don't have to, um, but if you do, then you can do it in a smooth way like this, where you just encourage her to ask you the right questions so you get a chance to show off. This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Oh, can I tell you a joke? Yeah. I've got a brilliant joke. Um, okay, how does it go? What is red and smells like blue paint? I don't know. You don't know, do you? No. Red paint. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Brilliant, right? I love that Absolutely one. brilliant. One of the biggest signs of interest that a girl can give is if she laughs at your lame jokes. doesn't mean you need to consciously remember this lame joke and use it, but you can pay attention to, you know, moments where you think, hang on, she's laughing and I didn't really say anything funny. Yeah, don't worry, it means she likes you, so learn that lesson. And how about your family? Do they live, do they live in the city as well? No, I moved away from home, um, oh, yeah? which is, yeah, it's sad. I miss them. I miss seeing them. When did you leave? When you were, like, a teenager, you ran away? <laughs> No. Rebellious teenager. No, for school, for school, and okay. then I just stayed here. But you get on well with your family, you don't hate yeah, them? Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually, um, I have a twin sister and we're very close. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Twin, wow. Yeah. That's really interesting, actually. You know they do loads of studies on twins, don't yes, they? Yes, I do. Did, did they do anything on you, like psychological no. studies, psychic no. tests or whatever? No, it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun, though. Do you, do you have some like special bonds? Like if I pinched you now, I won't do it, but like if I pinched you really hard, would she kind of feel it? Oh, my arm feels strange. I don't know. We could do it and I could text her <laughs> if she felt something. <laughs> Try that later. Yeah. But you get on really well? Or you're competitive? We, or we how's do. your relationship? No, we, we understand each other very well. We always know each other's emotions without having to say it. That's very nice. So you yeah. have someone who's always like supporting you and who Definitely. understands you. Yeah. That's really cool.
Yeah, I think so. Now be careful of falling into the dirty guy trap. You didn't do it in this choice. It's the right one. Well done. So what about your family? I've got, I've got family. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have any brothers and sisters and people say that makes me like selfish, but no, I don't Does think it? so. No, I don't think so. And I'm quite close to my mum. Uh, my dad's Italian, so hmm. I see him sometimes, but less often. And what else? I have five, five children. Really? Yeah, but they don't live in the country. They're like all in different countries, so that's okay. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no children and, and no wife. So. Okay, that's, that's good. That's yeah. ideal. You know, it's quite important to me that um, when someone is very kind to other people and stuff. So, sure. can, do you do anything for other people? Actually, yeah. Um, I've helped with uh, relief work with the Red Cross. Okay. What, you flew to some war zone or something? No, just like disaster areas like floods, hurricanes, ah. tornadoes. Okay, so you volunteer and go and do that? Yeah, absolutely. That's very cool. Thanks. You know what, I mean, when someone does that, they're obviously not going to be um, evil. Basically, right. so, <laughs> yeah. so it's great, right? Or yeah. selfish, even. It means you're very selfless. Yeah, I hope I so. I like that. It's very cool. Thanks. Yes, good. That's right. It's a way to build attraction because you're challenging her. And anytime someone kind of proves themselves, justifies themselves, works to get your approval, it makes them want the prize more. The prize being you in this case. So it's the right choice. So, do you go on many dates? But to be honest, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm single, so I go on a few dates. Sure. Um, but haven't met anyone special yet. I, 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 to be honest, I do have another date planned, like, this week. <laughs> I guess that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, what? We're not, we're not together like a couple right. yet, so I'm All not right. going to lie and say, oh, you know, well. I already know you're the one for me or whatever. <laughs> let's, let's take our time, and if, um, if we get serious, then, of course, you know, I'm a monogamous guy. I'll just be honest with you, I, I do have another date lined up this week but well thank you for being honest yeah and you're really cool so thanks exactly remember honesty is the best policy and um, you know and you think in dating it doesn't apply but you can see here how being honest is refreshing and actually builds attraction so try and be honest in cases where it won't hurt you like this and what about you do you go on a lot of dates I mean, I would say, I guess, average, you know. What's average? 16 a week? <laughs> <laughs> For you, maybe, you know. Um, you know, a couple times a month, I guess. It's kind of hard dating in the city. Um, it's not exactly easy to meet people. Yeah. You know? Where do you meet them? Usually online or real world? Oh, I have tried the dating apps, but I don't like them. I like meeting people in real life. It's you know, better, you get right? a better idea of, like, who they are. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, what kind of girls do you like? So for me, the most important things are that she's kind, thoughtful. Uh, I like intelligence and curiosity, you know, that she's interested in finding out new things, that sure. she can talk about different subjects. I guess, I guess for me, that's the, the most important stuff. It's a good list. Very good. By focusing on the non-physical, you actually show that you're a serious guy. Now, if that's what you want to show, that's the way to do it. It shows that you thought about what kind of girl you need in your life, and it's more than just blonde with big boobs. And tell me, what kind of men do you like? Mm, tall, dark, and handsome. Typically, Normal. but really outdoorsy. Um, mm. I guess maybe uh, he can be husky sometimes. Kind of looks like a lumberjack, maybe. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Kind of different from, yeah. from the average. Yeah, and hard to find. Yeah. Nice one, you didn't fall for the bait. And this is one where she, you know, could either be trying to get a reaction or just by chance it happens. And the key again is not to get emotional and fall into justifying yourself, proving yourself, asking why, calling her wrong or whatever it is. So just be cool with it. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know, play the violin, so I do like classical. Um, but I like classic rock too. Like I like a lot of 80s, Michael okay. Jackson. That's cool. Yeah, Do you like uh, rap music? I like rap music. Um, yeah, a bit. I'm not as familiar with it though.
After 10, 15 minutes of speaking to a girl, if you notice that your postures are kind of matching and she, uh, she followed your lead there, then it means that she's very comfortable, relaxed with you and probably attractive. I think it's important to know what people want, right? Yeah. So it's good that I think it's maybe a personal question, but I'm glad that I'm glad we, that we both know what <laughs> each other likes. Yeah, I think so. What color are your eyes? Are they blue or kind of gray blue? Bluish you know? gray. Yeah. Excellent, well done. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a very smooth way to go from just having a conversation to having a really intimate, spicy moment. You know what? I'm having a really nice time with you and I'm really happy we met. Me too. And I would just like to Most of the work in Going for the Kiss is when you do the non-verbal stuff that builds that seductive bubble. So you've chosen the right thing here, that's exactly how to do it. When someone does something like this, you know, charity... <laughs> Yep, nice one. You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between you because you want to leave enough room for her to comfortably slow down and stop. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw you. I just think you look really, really nice. Oh, thank you. That's nice. This is a very nice daytime opener. It's semi-direct. Uh, it should get a positive response. And then if you handle the follow-up correctly, you stop her in the right way, it's actually got a really high chance of success. Well, I'm Richard, by the way. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And what are you up to today? I'm going to meet a friend now. Hang on a second, is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, that's good. And look, I hope you don't mind me asking, but we're in a park. Yeah? Right. And you're wearing heels and a dress. What's that about? <laughs> I just had an interview. Oh yeah? Looking for a job? Yes, I am. So what job are you looking for? I want to be an administrator in a restaurant. In this case, you do need a bit more information, so asking another question is the right choice. You said you just had an interview over there. What yeah, was right. that? Um, just in the restaurant over there. Ah, there's the restaurant right on the park, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. That's quite a fancy one. That's yeah, it is. That's a pretty good place to work. I like it. Hmm. And is it, I think it's Italian food, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it's right? Italian, Mediterranean cuisine and stuff. Well, that's good, because it's very tasty. But for me, I don't know, if I worked there, and yes. if they had free food, I'd just be, I don't know, like... Getting huge. <laughs> really? Yeah, you need That's to find out problem. if they have free food there. If oh, they okay. do, <laughs> don't know. Well, you know what? I actually know a lot of uh, restaurant owners in the city and it's always interesting their story. Some of them started even as waiters, some mm. of them as administrators and then they work their way up to manager, owner and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're still young. Who knows what will happen in the future? Yeah, actually, you're right. This is perfect because, again, you've resisted that urge to help. You know, I can help you. I know these people. I can help rewrite your CV, whatever it is that a lot of guys have and the standard guys have, but the guys that she's most attracted to wouldn't do that. So you need to you know, stay cool and answer in a way like this. You don't know her well enough after one minute, two minutes, five minutes to be helping her. Save it until she's your girlfriend. So what is your job? My job? Well, I'm a salesman. Oh, Yeah. that's um, nice. What, what do you sell? 
Hmm. Now I sell software, and actually I started selling like cars and even double glazing back in the day. And now I sell software, so it's a lot more relaxed and it's um, it's quite good. I like it. Good being a salesman, you get to meet lots of people. Oh, I guess right. Yeah. And tell me, you know, I was just talking to my friends, and they're looking for jobs at the moment as well. Oh. And they told me that they they're kind of bitching about immigrants all the time. So what do you think? Because you're like unemployed, looking for a job. What do you think about the immigrant situation? No, you know, I'm not very fond of immigrants because uh, we have a lot of problems in our country on our own and we need to solve them. And the government just keeps spending money on the immigrants, so... I, I'm, I'm not very fond. But I'm not so sure about that because, you know, you say that they come, they take all the jobs and you need to look after your own country, but when you live in a rich country, I think you have an obligation to help the other people because hmm. if you're born in a poor place, not your fault, is it? And who says that they shouldn't get any help? And think about how much we spend on wars and everything else. I think it's only right to help hmm. less fortunate people. Yeah. So for me, I think it's good. Maybe you've got a point. There are many ways to build attraction, but this is actually one of the most powerful. If you can use intelligence, reasoned argument and change someone's mind, it's really, really cool and sexy. So obviously try it in real life and well done for picking the right solution in this case. Well, you know what, regardless of whether you're for or against immigrants, the okay. very cool thing that they bring is all the food. Yeah, because like in England, we've got so much tasty Indian food. It's just delicious. We've got the Chinese food, it's wonderful. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have such a cool uh, multicultural society. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a positive. It's fantastic food. Yeah, and I agree. Maybe I'm just hungry now. <laughs> Thinking about food, you've got the restaurant thing, but what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos? Yeah, it's Mexican. Yeah, they're tasty, of course, I like all that. But you know, it's a little bit unhealthy. I'm more like a, you know, organic, healthy kind of guy. Okay. If you don't like something, feel free to come out and say it. Um, if it's too much, if it's too negative, it's bad. But from time to time, it just shows a really shocking honesty that women find very rare, refreshing and attractive. And tell me, can you cook? No, not really. Well, come on. What about boiling an egg or, I don't know, scrambled eggs, other egg-based dishes? No, I don't like it. No, pasta? Oh, no. You can't cook or you don't like it? I can't and I don't like it as well. Wow. Well, consider this. I think it's really nice when two people can cook together. And I'm not saying you and me because we just met, but in general, it's really cool. And okay. so maybe I could get you lessons. Like if it was your birthday and we were still in touch, cooking lessons. Would you like that? I don't know. I think I never tried, so it might be interesting. Yes. Yeah. Why doesn't she cook? That's fine. Be playful. Tease her about it. I do cook a little bit from time to time. Quite like it. Oh, that's interesting. What do you cook? Uh, I like Italian food, I like healthy food. Oh. So yeah, I could, I've got a few like specialties that I make. Yeah, that's great. I think men are better at cooking than women. Yeah? Yeah, all great chefs are men. Well, that's actually true. But yeah, the men are good at cooking, but actually I go as far as saying men are better at pretty much everything. Oh, come on, you're kidding, right? Should I be kidding? Well, let's yeah. assume I meant it. Like, what, what's something women are better at, do you think? Everything. <laughs> what? Body, bodybuilding, powerlifting. There's only one side, Formula okay? Formula One racing. No, women have Football, uh, better hockey. intuition. Women are better artists. Women are better musicians. Da Vinci, Michelangelo. What? I famous... don't know, that's stupid. Oh, maybe in the Actresses past women weren't allowed to. And whatever, everyone is women. Playful is always good, so that's a good option. Such nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
And do you do any outdoor activities or you're usually inside? Oh no, I love it. I yeah. like walking. You see, I'm in the park right now. Yeah, and in your heels. Actually, <laughs> actually, I like riding a bike. I have yeah. a bike. And I'm fond of climbing and stuff. And well, quite a activities. lot then. Yeah, I like hmm. it. I would have never guessed that you're an active kind of girl because you've got... Well, I guess you don't have like huge nails or anything, but... No. Long hair. So no, that's cool that you're active. This should be part of any conversation where you go from stranger to wanting to see them again, getting the number or instant date, whatever it may be. You need to take it to things that they like to do because you're looking for that reason to see them again, that common connection or that date suggestion that you can come up with. Okay, cool. So my idea would be that, I don't know, we pick a day when the weather's good and we could okay. ride bikes and I could even bring a few snacks and drinks and have a little picnic. Oh, I think that would be great. That's yeah? a nice plan. Excellent. Yeah. Cool, so put your number in my phone and sure. we'll sort it out. Okay. Here you are. That's brilliant because you've just got such a logical step to su then suggest doing this for the date. So it's the right option. Well done. I'll call your phone right now so that you've got my number too, right? Otherwise you won't know who's calling. Okay. Hang on. Okay, it's ringing, is it? Yeah, it's buzzing. Okay, cool. So you've got my number now as well. Okay. If you're going to be getting in touch with her, it makes sense to give her your number. She can also go and, you know, check out your um, Facebook and do some snooping if she's that way inclined. What's your schedule like over the next few days? Uh, let me think. I'm a bit busy, but Mm, on Thursday. Thursday is good. I can You're free on Thursday? Yeah. Remember that every time you're speaking to a girl that you want to see again and you're going to get her number, you have to include this step. So well done for choosing it here. Make sure you build it in as part of your real life um, dating skills. You always find out what she's got coming up so that you know when you can see her again. Well, it was so lovely meeting you. Really yeah. nice. You're you're just a wonderful girl. Uh, thank you. Really special. Thank you very oh, much. I'll see you then. Yeah, bye. That's all right, but you know it might seem a little bit counterintuitive. But the warmer the goodbye, the worse, because then she's very sure that you like her, and she's very sure that your message, and she's more likely to go into that playing hard to get role because she knows you'll keep chasing. But still, not too bad. Yep, nice one. You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between you because you want to leave enough room for her. You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be, um, they should look pretty good if possible, at least dress well. Um, they should be someone that puts you in a good mood, has a positive energy. And if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. But first, we need to set up some code words, right? Yeah. So if you're talking to a girl, but then you decide you like that one, then you're going to say, this girl's crazy. And that means you like that girl. Okay. And then if you like the other one and you want to do the switcheroo, you're going to say, oh, Richard, I was just thinking about that time in Italy. All right, that yeah. one. And then if you decide that you don't like the girls, you can just say, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go as well. Whatever, right? If we don't, yeah. if we don't like them. If you like the girl and you want to take her home, then you can just say, what could you say? Uh, Does anyone want some chewing gum? All right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So those are our code words. Yeah. <laughs> If you go out with your friend and you talk to lots of girls, you would find that you have situations where you said, I thought you liked her. No, no, I didn't. Well, why was I talking to her friend for 30 minutes? I don't know. I thought you liked the friend. So in order to avoid all these kinds of uh, miscommunications that can happen, it makes sense to just spend a little time thinking about the possible eventualities and coming up with the code words. Even though it does sound a bit geeky, it actually really helps in practice.
Dude, I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're gonna get lucky tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, I feel it to me. Uh oh, look at those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one do you like? I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. You don't know? Go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm, all right. I tell you what, um, yep. have you got any cash, any notes? Mm. Just while we wait, I've got yeah, something cool. Yeah, probably. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Yeah, there you go. Right, so I'm going to take this hundred dollars, put oh. it in my pocket, and it's going to make you talk to those girls. Really? Come because on. Because you're not getting it back until you talk to them. Well. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Rather than you guys just hanging out at the bar, not doing anything and having a shitty night, why not um, use this as a way to get each other talking to women? Surprisingly, this is wrong. It's what most guys do, but it's a little bit too much to come in, put the full court press on the girl. Much better if one of you goes in first and then the second joins a little bit later. Going in together is what a lot of guys do. It doesn't work too well. Much better if one of you goes in, kind of warms things up first. What should I say? Look, girls are always talking about two things, shopping or they're discussing men. So just go over there yeah. and say, you guys male bashing and it will probably work. Yeah? Yeah, like 99%. So okay, yeah, I'll get lucky. Like much and think oh oh hey girls are you male bashing um not now oh you're great and by the way my name is greg i'm greg vicky oh and you monica oh it's nice to meet you nice to meet you too this is a nice opening line it often works because either they are talking about guys or they're not but they probably were not long ago so it usually brings out a laugh which is always a nice way to start in a bar or club when the girls smile and laugh Oh, way too long. What's he going to do in there for 10 minutes all alone with two girls? It's tough. And as a wingman, you could really be helping him. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that, get them comfortable, uh, make sure that they feel good, and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late, um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute, looks right but when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together ideally smiling you can get in there well what an amazing party yeah such a nice club yeah i like it mm -hmm. hey mate who are these two? Oh, this is vicky and monica hey hey Hi. i'm greg sven richards nice to meet you monica and monica right nice yeah. to meet you nice to meet you that's correct, because you don't want to just talk to him, take the attention of the girls away, and it's maybe a bit strange to just suddenly start talking to the girls. So it's correct to quickly engage your friends, but ask him to introduce you, and then you can go on to talking to the girls. So what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like reading. Yeah? What do yeah. you read? Well, now I read Harry Potter books. Really? Yes. Oh my god. What? No, that's bad. So it means you're like 12 years old no, or 13? Like 14? No, no. No, no not yeah. even close. I thought actually. only young girls read Harry Potter. No, it's not. Have you ever read Harry Potter? Yeah, I read the first one. Uh, didn't like it. And I watched the second movie. Oh, well, you know. Didn't like it. <laughs> I know it's popular, but I thought it was, you know, a children's thing. But no, absolutely not. No? It's got some good stuff. Yes, I think you should try it. You know. I did like that she gave all the money to charity, JK Rowling. You know? she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very cool. So yes, that's really good. Like so it's good that you're supporting. If you, did you pay for it? or you? For boost? Yeah, or yes. you download it. Yeah. No, 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 I paid. That's I bought, good. I bought it. Cool. Yeah. Well done, you're being a good wingman, that's exactly right. Um, you want to help him out this time, maybe he'll help you out this next time. And by talking to the other girl exclusively, you free him up to do his thing with the girl that he's into.
I like reading too, actually. But wow. don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by yeah. stuff. Well, you know, maybe bots, my friends yeah. Yeah. read all the, the time, so. Yeah. yeah. We should start a reading club. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Maybe. Yeah, just, I think they do that, right? Like everyone reads the same book and then yeah. talks about it. Yeah, it's actually, actually, it's pretty cool. Thing. If you can agree on the book. Well, not much, really. Yeah. You know, you share your opinion. Well, it's pretty does. cool to, yeah. okay. mm, to discuss it. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's rare for me to meet someone that likes reading it's yeah. pretty cool okay. so, yeah. well I think you have a very nice voice <laughs> yes. when you're being the wingman you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable that means that you don't need to do so much teasing and things like that but you do need to give some compliments have a friendly conversation and basically talk her in nicely enough so that she's happy to talk to you but maybe not too much so that she likes you and by the way what are you drinking there Champagne. It's yeah. pretty good actually. Oh, cool. Cheers. Amazing. Cheers. Oh, ladies, uh, let me get you another one. Oh, thank you. Gentlemen, eh? Yeah. You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend. Such a great guy because. You know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend, and I called him at like four in the morning, and he said, I'm going to be there right away. And oh, he got wow. out of bed, came to me, and was talking to me, you know, all through the morning and stuff, didn't sleep, and it really made me feel better. And I knew, because he could have said, oh, I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, whatever, but he was really there for me. So since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And, wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's my So friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend. Yeah. This is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game, because if you can do this kind of thing for your friends, and if they can do it for you, it has a huge effect. When you say things about yourself, it's bragging, it's bad, but when someone else says something about you, it's incredibly powerful. So think about something nice that you can say about your wingman, and try it next time. Yeah, so that's good anyway. I'll Look, hey Rich. He needs my help, I'll just get the drinks. Hang on a second. All right, what have you got here? What did you get in the whiskey coke? Yeah. Hope it's a double. There you go. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, oh, cheers. cheers everyone. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> And you normally drink champagne? Yes, I really yeah. like it. Yeah? What yeah. about cocktails? Yeah. Oh, no. Vodka? Yeah. No. Beer? No, definitely How about beer? Not really yeah. like the taste. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. It's strange, but hang on a second. Hi, it's my mum. It was her birthday today. She just said, like, thanks again and whatever. Have a look. You know what she looks like? Whoa, she's so pretty. She looks young, right? That's why you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, that's nice of you to say. And actually you're so pretty, you've got Thank such a sweet you. smile. Thank you, nice to hear. But you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little bit. But that's cute, I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But there's, what is it they say, it's always the quiet ones? There's some like, English expression that the quiet ones are trouble. Well, maybe it's true. Yeah, true about you? Maybe. Alright. The worst situation here is if your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need to keep your girl interested and so as far as you can without being dishonest, you want to work hard to make her like you. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. What food do you like? 
Well, I am a vegetarian mm. for six years now. Yeah. Can you believe it? And you're still alive? Yes, as you see. Okay. No, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay. Seems quite um, trendy at the moment. And I saw lots of documentaries like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives. And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better. So. That's cool. And you've, you're a healthy person in general then? Well, yes, I think so. And actually, I really love animals, so I just can't oh, eat them, you know. Animals. <laughs> Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Okay. What about you? No, I, I have fish. I have an aquarium oh. with fishes. Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> and is Vicky vegetarian? Well, no. No? She likes meat. Okay. But do you live together? No, no. Okay. I don't. Do you, who do you live with? If I can ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live alone actually. Okay, that's good. And tomorrow... Actually, what do you... Do you guys work? Are you working tomorrow? Well, I think... No. No, no. you're both free. That's yes. cool. That's nice. Get to relax. Yes. I've got to work, but it's okay. Not Doesn't matter oh. if I'm tired. No. <laughs> Anytime you're meeting girls out in the night, then you want to find out stuff like whether they live together. You know, all this stuff comes under logistics and it's very important when it comes to uh, deciding on the next steps and if you'd be able to take these girls somewhere else or to your house. Seems like they're getting on very well together. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they look great together. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they match like that. Because he actually likes yeah. tall girls, and it's so hard yes. for him to find someone his height. That's really cool. So he's really such a nice guy. How is she? Is she a good girl? She's a wonderful girl. Yeah? I think your friend is very lucky. Alright, well hopefully they, you know, they make it, but let's just chill and see what happens. This is very nice. You're not saying it publicly, you're not saying it to her, but you're saying it to the friend because you know that after this interaction, they're going to speak about him and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend. So it's the correct choice. Nice one. Monica, what do you think? This place is getting a bit yeah. dull, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. All right, let's get yeah. Vico and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, go yeah. for after party. Yeah, it will be yeah, great. Come on. Come on. She wants ideas. to. Yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All my yeah. ideas are good. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Brilliant. This is exactly the way to do it. Um, you don't want to leave it to him and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing, then your friends are going to be three and the final girl is going to agree to it because, you know, she's just going to be outvoted. If you go out with... This is... Oh, no way, you still play Candy Crush. Oh, don't tell anyone. I'm going to tell everyone. I am. Of course I am. Level 495. Are you kidding me? 501. How many years did that take? Around five. No, no, I'm working good on work it. For the company. Which level are you at? Oh, I, I, I don't know, 200 and something. But I'll send you a Candy Crush request. Alright, alright. Nice one. All right, we'll carry on. Don't let me disturb you. You've got candies to crush. Don't tell anyone. It's going to be all a secret, right? We'll see. I've got an email to all. <laughs> Stop. When someone's bored at work, you know, the humdrum stuff, it's a nice way to snap them out of it. A little bit of teasing, a little bit of playfulness. So it's a good choice. So what do you think of this new guy, Jeffrey? He's a good lad. Fine, my friend actually dated him and to her mm -hmm. he was a total freak. Oh no way, that's amazing gossip. Wow, <laughs> cool, thank you. I know, small world, isn't it? Yeah. But mm -hmm. he seems he seems alright for working oh, for, for work, that's, that's, that's fine. That's 
It doesn't matter about the gossip's cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> So what do you do at the weekend? Nah, basically what I do every weekend, went oh, yeah. out, got a bit drunk. Every weekend you do that? Yeah, more no or way. less, more or less. I'm young. It's okay yeah. to have some fun. And you always come to work on time. Yeah. You don't, yeah. you don't yeah. keep vodka bottles in your desk, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. That Didn't part get will that come later. <laughs> All right, cool. Yep. To transition from work colleagues to things that are a little bit more personal, a nice way is to ask casually what she did at the weekend. No one would say it's too intimate to answer, right? You know, the conversation subject is quite common. It gives you more chances of connection, so it's a great thing to ask. Oh, hey, um, next weekend is a uh, like holiday weekend, an extra day. So you got, you got any plans? I do, I do. I'm going to Las Vegas with my friends. Oh, ah, yeah? Maybe going to get married. You never know there. Oh, you're going to get... Oh, well, you're joking. You know, ah, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and you? Um, yeah, I've got big plans. Um, just got a few options. Need to decide different people invited me to cool, cool things and trips. But, what yeah. are the options? Oh... Um, you know, like flying places, some cool parties, and um, one of my friends is like friends with uh, celebrity mm, and mm. like house party in uh, Hollywood Hills and stuff. Nice, and, nice but anyway, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. Because right, cool. I'm not sure. I need to choose. Really, I get a lot of all invitations. Right, all right. Make your choice wisely. Hey, I know you've got this uh, report to finish, but you do seem like a bit more stressed. Overall. I know, I'm very stressed. I mean, with this new boss, who's the mm. new head of the department, he's putting so much pressure on us. I really don't like the direction that the company is going. Well, I know it's hard now, but if you think about it, anytime someone new comes in, they make a lot of changes. Right? And there's bound to be some period of adjustment. But if you think about it, I think the strategy is correct. And if we just wait a few weeks, I think everything's going to smooth out and it'll actually be a lot better because he seems really smart. So, all um, right. Well, I'm, you know, I'm hoping you're right. Yeah, of course. I'm always right. Remember that. Let's see. If this is what you really feel, then say it and use some intelligent arguments and logical points and try and change her mind. It can generate attraction if you're looking intelligent, doing it in a smart way. So try that. I used to work for um, Baxford, Baxter and yeah. Bowtie, yeah, right? Yeah, that's correct. Well, what, what happened? Why did you leave that? Yeah, I was bored and I was underappreciated there and I, oh. could, I felt that I could do so much more. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. That is very nice Never to forget. hear. I will not. Will not. Thank you. So, do you have any vacation plans coming? Oh, I do. In fact, big plans. Yeah. I'm going, going surfing to Portugal all the way. You're going to surf to there, or once you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use a plane to get there, but then oh. I'm gonna surf in Portugal, yeah. All right, very nice. I saw on YouTube, they have these huge, huge waves, the biggest yep. in the world. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah, right? the world record, 30 meters. Oh my God, that's mental. Quite amazing, no? Yeah, beautiful and cool and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to beat it, the world record. All right. I think I can do it better. Okay, but anyway, who, who are you going there with? Uh, just a group of friends. So you're just going with friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, go out girls? Two girls, one guy. Okay, great. That's going to be really cool. Yep. You can't really ask a work colleague, hey, are you single? It's a little bit too close to coming on to her. So, smooth way to do it is that. So, well done.
What did you have for lunch today? Uh, Indian. Indian food? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like it. Because in England we have lots of Indians and, uh, you know, yeah, we have heard, so many Indian it. restaurants. I like it a lot. What do you have? Uh, chicken curry. Yeah, spicy or? Yeah, spicy. I like it spicy. Uh, Vindaloo probably, that's yeah. the most spicy yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Good guess, good guess. Yeah. You know me. <laughs> I want that report on my desk at 9 a.m. sharp. Yes, sir. We'll be done. Okay, and let's fix this a little bit. Straighten this up. There you go. Yeah? Is okay. it all right? Yes. Carry That's on. You As okay. you were. All right. And increase that font size, plus one. There you go. Done. Anything else? You know, no. I'm always open for any suggestions from you. Of course, you. Carry on. We'll do. Bringing some playfulness into the workplace is always going to be well received, it's going to build attraction and here's a way you can do it, so it's a good choice. Hey listen, uh, me and some of the guys and girls, we're going to the Shamrock after work. All right, you want the, to come? The pub? Yeah, the that one, they have uh, pool and darts and ping pong and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I heard a lot about it. You want to go? You want to join us? I would love to. I would love to. Thank you so much for the invitation. All right. Of course. It's going to be good. Great. All right. Cool. Doing well there, because the best way to invite a colleague out, especially if you're not sure, is to arrange some kind of group event. So that's the way to bridge that gap between people that are just colleagues to people that see each other socially. Hey, are you doing any um, exercise stuff for the moment? Um, yeah, actually, I just started doing CrossFit. Oh, you do CrossFit? Yeah. CrossFit, yeah, I've been meaning to try it. Actually, I, I did try it once, but I just didn't like the place. So, uh, oh, wh where do you go? Uh, just, just around the corner. Ah, oh, it's like a couple blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very convenient mm, it's from good. here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, well, maybe I'll, I'll try that one uh, one day, if you don't mind me being in the same class. No, not at all, not at all. You're okay. welcome. Right. Again, this is great because it's the kind of innocuous conversation that can nicely lead to something outside of work, doing something together socially. Karen? Yes? I wanted to know, you know, you said you do CrossFit, uh, what else? You go out drinking with friends and stuff for the weekend, but anything else you, you like to do? Well, nothing too exciting. I go to the movies, mm -hmm. I take pictures, I like photography, okay. also salsa. Salsa? Oh, no way. I, I did it a few times. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah were you any good? Uh, I got better, but right. I mean, you know, there's always the instructor guy. Yeah. He's amazing. Right. And then obviously not like that, but right. uh, better great. than when I started. I would never tell you can do salsa. That's well, great. great I think that's a compliment. Yes, the, it is a compliment. The guy, he looked quite effeminate, to be honest. <laughs> he changed me. I don't know about your coach. But. And what do you do in your spare time? Um, well, I like, I like playing squash. Okay. I told you I like photography. Sometimes some dance. A little bit of gym. But mm -hmm. also uh, climbing is cool. Oh really? Climbing? Yeah, but not mountain climbing, you know, holding on with one hand, but like these artificial walls and stuff, yeah, very cool. Interesting, interesting. So how long have you been doing this? I've done it in like eight, eight nine times or something. Why are you I always wanted to try. I mean, oh. I read so much about it and some of my friends are doing it, but I never had the guts to do it myself. Oh, it's not too scary. You always have someone supporting yeah? you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, I can't fall on my back and break my, I don't know, whatever, back. Only if they wanted you to and just <laughs> let, cut the rope or something. But no, I, I'm joking. It is, it's very safe and it's really good. You should try. Mm, which gym do you go to? Uh, well, there are a few different ones. If you go to the same one all the time, it's boring. Mm. So always mm. change it. But there's a good one for beginners. So um, yeah, I'll tell you about it. I'll send you details. Yes, or please, next yes. time I go, I can even, you know. That would be you. great. That would be great. Oh. Thank you. From the workplace, it's all about transitioning to personal stuff, but in a smooth way. So it's the right option. Well done. What are you looking at? It's this um, design book, but this part is cars. Do you like cars? 
I love cars. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, look, they still have the concept like in the beginning and then how it evolves over time. Oh, nice. Like adding wheels and then mm. adding other stuff, little aerial on top. And then you have everything. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. I was thinking of getting a Tesla actually. Yeah? You like Teslas? Yeah. Why well, you, you like uh, into environment and stuff? I like um, electricity. Mm. Good choice, good choice. I had many good reviews about it. Mm -hmm. Karen, actually, in, uh, in the break, I just called the climbing club. And on uh, Saturday and Sunday, we could go at like four o'clock and there's, there's no people there and stuff. I okay. can't take either of those times. So, do you want to go? Great news, yes, yes. And Which please, day? I mean, any of those. Which right. one is better for Let's you? Let's say Sunday. Sunday's good. It's yeah? great. Yeah, All right, just great. after church. You're joking. <laughs> you, you go to church? Of course I do. Oh, oh well, you? that's good. Yeah, yeah, I go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, go there a lot. But anyway, climbing, cool, Sunday. Yes. Great. Wonderful. So you've smoothly bridged that gap between just chilling in the office to arranging to do something outside socially. Perfect. Is this dress new? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. nice. I like it. It's, you notice? Makes, it shows your, um, your figure well. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. You know what would be cool? What? If we just took the day off tomorrow, like, oh, I'm too sick, <laughs> like that. Yeah. And we just drive to Vegas, uh, go there, like, you know, see everything and all the lights and action and stuff, instead of this fucking office. That would be Excuse amazing. My French. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. That yeah. would be amazing. It's a great cool, idea. Right? I know. Yeah. If only we could. If only. Here we've got some playful future projection and it works really nicely, especially in boring office type situations. I'm done for the day. Why, why don't you pack it in as well? Whew, you know what? That's the best thing I heard all day. Yeah? Well, I've got another best thing, a new best thing. Tell me. Why don't we get a drink on the way home? All right, yeah? that's a great idea. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. When someone's bored at work, you know, the humdrum stuff, it's a nice way to snap them out of it. A little bit of teasing, a little bit of playfulness. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as possible. So the bar is the best option. Um, take a seat. Thanks. No, 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 you don't sit opposite. Reason is, you can't touch her up. No, but seriously, it makes it a bit harder. When you're sitting side by side, you get to kind of take a break, look around the room. If there's an awkward silence, it's not so awkward. And like I said before, you can touch her. Come take a seat over here. Thank you. Perfect. So many people sit opposite each other on first dates and it gets really awkward because you've got that eye contact the whole time. You run out of stuff to say, you feel super uncomfortable. And the worst thing, you can't touch her up, right? So it's much better to sit side by side. So how have you been the past few days? What have you been doing? Uh, actually quite a lot. Mm. I went to the gym as usual okay. and then did some work, but it's boring, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. And ah, last night I watched a movie. Okay, what movie? Uh, it was Seven with Brad Pitt, a nice one. Ah, yeah, it's good, right? It's kind of um, psychological, serial killer, scary. Oh, so you've seen it? Yeah, yeah I like it, it is it's... very scary. I liked it very much. I think it's very smart. But it's a strange film for a girl. It's not like Sex is in it? the City <laughs> or like um, Finding Nemo or something. It's quite, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a tough film, right? Yeah, it is. But I like tough films. 
Mm. So you watch make... horror movies and things like that? Yeah, I do. I do quite often. I think they make you think and it's interesting. But not, what if there's loads of blood and people dying? You can watch it or you kind of cover your eyes and stuff? Not like that. I wouldn't watch The Saw or something like that because it's stupid, I think. Mm. But this one is very smart. You should know if you watch it. Yeah, it is very smart. You're always thinking about you know, how they can catch him and stuff. So yeah, exactly. Cool. exactly. All right. What else have you got going on? Actually, I'm moving house at the moment and all it's right. very, very difficult and annoying because there are all those boxes I have to move and all my stuff. You have to pack things yeah, up. pack and up and then transport it all. Mm. Oh, it's so difficult. Yeah, they say it's a stressful thing to do to move house. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think the main thing you're going to need is some muscles. So let me check your biceps. Show me what you've got here. Flex it, come on. See the Arnie move? It's kind of like a P, isn't it? Not, not much there. No, it isn't. I'm strong. <laughs> hmm, maybe. I remember I worked actually for a few days when I was a teenager as a removal guy. I oh. Just, yeah, carrying all the stuff. <laughs> really? Did you like it? Uh, it was very physical and actually I did. Yeah, I think it's good for fitness and stuff. So maybe you'll enjoy it, carrying stuff. <laughs> Hopefully I will. <laughs> nice one. You didn't fall for the trap, which is to always offer loads of help uh, to girls that you want to sleep with. You want to resist that as much as possible. And here you've turned it around and actually used it as a way to uh, get a little bit physical and playful. Well done. I know you're busy now with the house and stuff, but what do you normally do in your free time? Do you do any sports? Yeah, of course I do sports. Why of course? <laughs> <laughs> it's my main hobby, going to the gym actually. Oh ah, yeah? Yeah, I like it very much. What do you do there? I do a lot of different things actually. Mm -hmm. The main one is doing weights, usual mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. And I also do one hour stretching a week. Yeah. It's very, very painful but very rewarding as well. For flexibility. Yeah, so you I want like to be it. able to do splits or, yeah, that's or my kick, goal. kick people in their heads. Like <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, and so and also I do Pilates sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's interesting as well. And what about you? Do you do sports? Uh, yeah, I've done lots of sports. I used to do boxing, used to play squash. Hmm. Um, I always try and do something physical and at the moment I just do normal gym, like weights yeah. and things. But I don't get huge because I don't do protein shakes and all this stuff. So <laughs> That's good. Just yeah. go to the gym and I'm doing things for like endurance, you know, to be, to be, Strong. have good fitness and, yeah, and whatever. And what else do you do apart from physical stuff? Apart from physical stuff, I like reading, mm -hmm. actually. I read every day and it's very, very interesting for me. Oh, yeah? What, what are you reading now or what's the last book you read? I've just finished uh, Bulgakov's Master and Margarita, but it wasn't okay. the first time I've ever read it. So. You read it again? So yeah, I like it very much. One of your favourites? Yeah, one of. That's nice because it's classic literature, not like, you know, Harry Potter and yeah. the Code and <laughs> the girl with the dragon tattoo and all this stuff. Mm, so you like reading as well? Uh, yeah, and I like reading um, not just fiction, but if I read fiction, I like classics, but okay. I like reading sometimes psychology, business, biographies, all types of different stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. I like psychology as well and biographies mm. of famous people. That's good. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Cool. And tell me, do you do anything uh, creative or, I don't know, like singing, dancing, <laughs> playing the violin, whatever? No, actually, I'm absolutely useless at singing. You can't sing? Can't do that oh. and don't like it. I was going to ask you to sing for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> maybe we'll get your lessons and you can sing for me. That can be interesting. Maybe, maybe one day. Mm -hmm. And I can't play any musical None instruments. None of them. Well, no. Even this xylophone face. thing or the... <laughs> maybe. Do you know this triangle, that one? You just... <laughs> yeah. can do like that, this. I think, because that's easy. And the creative thing I do is actually painting. Thank you. Painting is really interesting actually, but yeah, it is. But tell me, like, what, what does it give you? How do you feel? Oh, it gives me a lot. In the first place, it helps you to reveal something inside. Mm -hmm. And in the second place, it helps you to express your emotions. And it's really interesting. 
So it's not something because I'm not a painter, right? So、okay. it's, it's not something where you know you're sitting here, for example, and you just paint the bar and you're just trying to kind of copy it. It's something where something's coming from inside, based on how you feel and who you are. Yeah, it、whatever. is. It is because I like to create something that may not even exist in the、okay. real world. So it's basically my imagination. But sometimes I like to paint something that exists. If it's, for example, beautiful scenery or something、mm. I really like. Very nice. So、yeah. it's not.、Um, it's something that serves a purpose, like emotionally, for you as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. I'd love to see some of your paintings one day. Oh really? That、yeah. would be lovely. I would. I would be happy to show you something. Marvelous. That's exactly what you want to do because when someone has a passion, you want to dig down in it, get them speaking and、um, telling you about their feelings, and it's definitely the way to go when someone reveals a life passion. So pay attention to that. Let's not leave this sitting here. Yeah, have a drink. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. To tell me, how about、um, traveling? Do you travel? Oh yes, I do. And、um, what do you normally do? Do cities or adventure holidays?、Uh, actually, I like I like both. I like cities, and I went to many places in Europe. For example, Prague and、mm-hmm. Berlin and Rome. Rome is amazing, so、It's、I like that. Very beautiful there, yeah. Yeah, of course, Europe is beautiful, and I also went to some exotic places like、uh, Lebanon, for example. Lebanon. Yeah, it's it was, not dangerous there. It was quite scary because I thought it was dangerous, but probably it wasn't at the moment. It was fun because I like to see different things, and you know. Different cultures and whatever, but、yeah. Rome is very touristy, right? Yeah, all and, these crowds. And、right. then Lebanon is probably not very touristy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely, very different. See, like you different, see the different kinds of things. Not yeah, always the same stuff in the same hotel and speaking, you know, places where because English people are different. Some like to go to,、uh, for example, Spain every year to the same、oh, place,、uh, only speak English. They don't know any Spanish. That's quite boring. Yeah, and then some people like just going somewhere super exotic where there are no tourists. I'm I'm more like the second type. I don't like tourists. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> If I go somewhere and other English people, oh no, you know, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Oh really? So you don't like English people? Um, when I'm travelling somewhere and you're just surrounded by, you know, people from your country, you don't feel like you're travelling. And if、oh, yeah. everything's in English, you don't feel like you're travelling. So, I like to go somewhere. And only meet locals to go to the local place. Like in, you would have seen it in Rome. You can go to some restaurants where it's all just Americans. Yeah, just tourists all、yeah. around. Or、no、you can、good. go to a restaurant if you're lucky, and you're like, oh, I'm sitting with Italians.、So、I must be in the right place, <laughs> not the, not the tourist yeah, maybe recommendation. Yeah, right, actually. I should try that. Yeah. And tell me, what's the like the I don't know coolest place you've been or most interesting? Hmm, something that I really liked. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, I went to Cuba, and it was amazing. I really, really liked it. Cuba, that's really interesting because it's、uh, it's kind of a strange country, right? It was、uh, Americans weren't allowed to go there for so long. They've、yeah. got this reputation for the. Politics, but it's not very developed for tourists, right? So it must be quite interesting. Yeah, it's not, and that's what interesting actually, because、mm. it's not easy to get internet even there. You know, no, no internet yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is internet, but it's kind of difficult. Slow and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. But、Completely、I like having、different. a break from the internet. Do you? Oh yeah, I like it, but、mm. not all people can handle it. Can you?、No. Um, yeah, I can handle it. I like to、mm, good. unplug sometimes, and then you feel how relaxing it is when you're not checking your phone all the time.、But、yeah, right. I do it sometimes as well, and I really liked it. But tell me, like, what's what's the cool stuff about Cuba? What did you really like about it? Everything. I just liked everything. The nature was amazing,、mm-hmm. very beautiful,、Palm、and the trees, people. Palm trees, beaches. Yeah, the main thing was actually the people because they are very, very friendly and very、okay. different, and it was very peaceful there and safe, and everything was wonderful. Actually, yeah,、mm. you have to. People、yeah. are often the most important thing, yeah, because if they're rude or if there are too many tourists, then it just can destroy the holiday, right?、Sure. But you said they're very, very friendly, so you、very. felt good there. Yeah, you're right. I felt very good there. Very nice. 
excellente. You know, holidays are something that bring out a lot of emotions, you know, just compared to her telling you about, I don't know, her day at work compared with a recent holiday. So it's an area that you want to explore and you want to find out what she felt during that period so that she can kind of relive it, relive it and start feeling good again in that moment with you as she tells you about it. Plus, it's keeping the attention on her rather than just cutting her off and talking about something else. And what about you? Do you like traveling? Yeah, I do like travel. I, I don't like it as much as I did because when I was younger I would go away for months at a time and just wow. go to different countries and um, you know come back home and then two weeks later go away again. Mm. Um, now I'm more settled and I like spending time at home but I would say like every month I like to go somewhere and I spend a lot of time in Barcelona. I've got a nice place there, it's by the sea and oh. have it all you know nicely set up with big television and PlayStation and stuff, so it's really cool. Oh, really? Uh, PlayStation, you said? Yeah. Uh, you play often? Mm. Yeah, kind of. Oh, really? I think games are just a waste of time, don't you think so? Well, look, I kind of get what you mean because it's you know, some people might say it's immature or something, yeah. but it's a little bit different nowadays because the older people play. And even in uh, this uh, TV show, House of Cards, he's the president, but he plays games. It's quite funny, but yeah, so. um, I won't try and convince you that it does good stuff for your brain and your reflexes and kind of memorizing maps and things. Okay. But specifically for me, I, the way I work in my business is I need to have just a few big ideas you know, every now and again. So I'm not sitting there all day doing repetitive stuff. I need to be creative and think of something uh, powerful. And when I'm playing a game, I'm not 100% in there at all. I'm kind of detached mm. and I'm coming up with ideas. So something that actually is not, you know, I'm sitting there playing a the game. I'm actually having these big ideas, just like you might if you're in the bar, you know, and you think, oh, that's good, you know, like this. And something I also do is if I'm playing something that doesn't need audio, you know, where it's not really important, like a okay. racing game or sports, then I listen to audio books. Oh. And actually, um, I remember a few years ago I studied Chinese and I would be able to sit for hours just listening to the Chinese because I was playing the game, so I didn't get bored. Because if you're just listening to language learning, you can't do it for long, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's tiring. So it really helped me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah maybe. it's not so bad. And there's some girl games I'm going to let you try. There's one called Flower where you control, I don't know, growing flowers and flying oh, really? around and stuff, yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe I would give it a try then. Brilliant. But do you know why this works? It's because women find it very attractive when a guy shows his intelligence. All women want a guy that's more intelligent than them. And it's very cool if you can persuade her to your point of view. So anytime you can do this, anytime you've got the facts at hand or a strong argument, you can persuade her. It's actually really attractive and sexy. So do it. And what about, what about you? Do you have any like uh, guilty pleasures? You watch some really dumb oh. TV shows, like reality stuff or something? Mm, well, let me think. Definitely not TV shows, because I mm. never watch TV actually. Never? Never. I don't like it. You don't have a television? Only movies. Oh, I movies. have television, but oh, okay. only for movies and stuff. And I need to tell you that one guilty pleasure I used to have Mm -hmm. was smoking actually oh. but I managed to give up and are you sure you're not going to start again mm, no now I had a now. cigarette now and say come on <laughs> no smoke. thank you <laughs> no I gave up so That's no good. more and oh. I think nothing else basically and what right. about you actually people are often surprised when I tell them I've never tried a cigarette oh really yeah, never smoked not once it. no I smoked other things but never never a cigarette Okay. Strange, right? Yeah, that's funny. And in general, no, I think I'm quite um, nothing too bad, you know, not a crazy alcoholic or addicted to anything <laughs> that good. I shouldn't be addicted to. So, no, it's not too bad. And let me ask something that's a little bit, um, for me, it's interesting, right? So, indulge me here. Okay, uh, what are your bad habits? Like, what are some bad qualities? Ah, um, like that. I think I can't really trust people well, so sometimes... Well, you know you can trust me. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I can seem a little bit unfriendly, 
with people I don't know. Ah. So maybe that's a bad point about mm -hmm. me. Um, also, I'm crazy about being on time everywhere. So sometimes I'm oh. panicking when I'm running late and can be really angry or something like that. That might be a problem. Really? Why? Yeah. You're always late. I'm never late, but I arrive. Don't tell me that. I arrive like three seconds before. Before. <laughs> always You're before. Sure not after. Uh, I'm late if it doesn't matter, but if it matters, like a flight or a train or a... Well, when people are waiting, I'm not late. But if it doesn't really matter, if we kind of say, oh, around that time, then I wouldn't. And getting to the airport, yeah, not hours before. hate it, so that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that might be a problem, actually, because I like to come in advance. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I can try it your way, because actually I end up wasting hours just well, sitting there and if waiting. if in the future, right, this is our first date, but if in the future <laughs> we go somewhere, okay. you can just go to the airport like five hours before, <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> and meet you there. And I'll just come, yeah, I'll just come later and meet you on the plane. <laughs> okay, that sounds funny. <laughs> All right. Hmm, I need to figure out a way to touch her now. I'm drinking that wine and actually you seem quite nervous. Hope you don't mind me saying. Are you really nervous? Like, terrified? No, I don't think so. I don't believe you. Let me check. Your pulse is, <laughs> is crazy. Oh, like, really? Yeah, like you're skydiving or in really? the what do you mean? boxing match well, or something. Well, maybe. Yeah, you must be super, super nervous. Look, no, check out I'm mine. Not. You heard the phrase cool as a cucumber. Look, check it out. <laughs> They're nothing. Yeah, actually. Very slow. Chill. Very slow. It's right to be nervous on a big date. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Don't think you're the reason. It's all wine. Of course it's me. Of course not. Wine helps oh, you relax. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. I don't mind. You know. Really? Yeah. Okay, we'll relax. Then. Okay. We'll relax. You'll be more comfortable. But nervousness Maybe. is kind of connected with excitement as well. So that's okay. Okay. This is a cool way to escalate, nice one for choosing it. Um, it's something I've used a lot in the past. It allows you to be playful and funny and make jokes about how nervous she is. So it's a good one. And do you like going out to bars, partying, all that stuff? Actually, no, I don't really like it because um, people are just drinking there and I don't mm -hmm. really like to drink. Like us? <laughs> no. You don't like to drink? Cheers. No, they're, they're, <laughs> cheers they're just that. cheers. I think they're just drinking a lot and then they're crazy, dancing everywhere, oh, smoking. You mean like shots and yeah, all this. Hard I don't drinking. really like that. Yeah, but sometimes I go with my friends when they make me go, basically. Mm. Do you like so, yes. dancing? Can you dance? I really can dance when I feel like dancing, but it doesn't happen often. That's why I don't go. So, do I believe you? Yeah. So, if you were, if I caught you in the club, you wouldn't be dancing on the bar or the table. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Never. Your controls. Yeah, I'm okay. very, very self-controlled. But you're single at the moment. You wouldn't. You don't yes, go to bars to meet men. Mm, really, I don't think it's a perfect place to meet someone nice. What did you do then? Internet? Uh, no, internet. I don't believe in that. Okay. I think that it's better just to live your life, to work and go to the parks, wherever you go, and then one day you will meet someone when it's time. That's very romantic. So you believe in fate? Yeah, I, I do. So you're single at the moment, right? Yes, you I haven't am. got secret lovers and husbands <laughs> all around the world or no. something? Okay, and how is it? Because I know some girls, they, they're never single, they just have relationships, split up into the next one. Yeah, maybe. I quite like it. I think it's better to be single than with, with someone you don't like or something like that. That's why I really enjoy that. I have a lot of free time to mm. develop my personality and to uh, do something, read and do more work. So I like it. What's your longest relationship? Um, it was about a year. A year? I once met a girl who said two weeks to that question. Oh really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Amazing, Don't you think right? so? Yeah, very strange. <laughs> what about you? Uh, my longest was my first relationship two and a half years. Oh, that's quite long. Yeah. But how mm. long have you been single this time? Uh, it's about three months now. Three months? If you don't mind me asking, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but why did you break up with your last man? Oh, actually, we broke up because he was useless in bed. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'll tell you what we can do about that. Bear with me for a second. One evening, come round, because I want to show you some stuff anyway. I've got an aquarium, Hi. whatever. You're going to love it. But anyway, come round and we'll pick some. I've got candles, you know, these aroma, aroma candles, whatever. Right. And very nice music. So think of a track you really like. Okay. Maybe something like The Weeknd. We'll put that on. Maybe. And give me like three to five minutes to show you what I can do. You'll love it. <laughs> And it doesn't take long, that's the benefit. It's a joke, right? <laughs> I don't know, you'll see. <laughs> okay. From time to time, girls are up the ante sexually and say things like this, and you need to be able to respond in the right way. One of the options is to be um, playfully tongue-in-cheek about it, but in a way that shows confidence. So that, that will work. So yeah, when I'm single, I'm... I'm definitely on dates because it's the best chance to meet girls and you know see if anyone would would be good for a serious relationship. Yeah. But what what kind of qualities do you like in a man? Oh, actually, many numerous many? qualities. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> I think the most important are that he is um, honest and oh trustworthy. Oh no. No, I'm joking. It's not about okay. you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and also, of course, I would like someone very responsible yeah. and very manly. Someone who can manly, handle, like on a Schwarzenegger and shooting um, people and no. tattoos and. I don't mean the appearance. I mean okay. the inner world, right? The character and everything. Ah, like uh, decisive and. Yeah, yeah, really not strong a, character. Not and stuff yeah, like and that. I like smart guys. Obviously, that's very important. Mm. Well, okay, cool. Sounds like you're talking about someone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Really? Yeah. Do you know what, what? kind of uh, girls um, I like? I don't know. I can guess beautiful girls, probably. Uh, I like blonde, uh, brown eyes. <laughs> I'm okay. Joking. No, um, of course, you know, the physical appearance is important to start with, and well. then. No, I'm going to be honest, right? You said you like honest guys, so I'm yes, not going to start lying immediately. Um, so definitely physical appearance is important. And then after that, um, intelligence, curiosity, of course, honesty, um, like you said. And I like them, I like them to be actually quite different from me so that they can tell me something different. Yeah, and that's interesting. Yeah. I like it too. But as you know, we agree, it's quite hard to, to find someone. Yeah, it is. It's very hard. Wait a minute, come here a second. Yeah. Turn your face. What's that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let me see that side. There we go, that's better. <laughs> okay. You've gone all red. Sweet. Is it? Yeah, it's cute. I like it. Let's try. Okay. Yes, well done. That's exactly the way to do it. Nice and smooth. Gets the kiss. Good work. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as possible. So the Congratulations, you made it. You got all the way to the end and completed all 10 levels. Now, there is an even better ending if you go through and you complete them all with five star ratings plus get 50% completion, but it will be worth your while, so I suggest you go and do it. As a reward for completing the game, I'm going to give you a few secrets in the making of it. Now, did you notice this, that there's um, a scene with a girl called Alexa and there's another one called Jenna. We're talking about the club dance floor and the girl on the street and also Thursday. Did you notice that that's actually the same girl? That's actress Shanna Vincent. Uh, something else in the game is that in the friend to girlfriend level, uh, Lilia, the girl in it, is actually my friend. Uh, she's my friend since 2012. And so a lot of the stuff in that level is true, like her going on to a design course. 
Finally, maybe most shocking is that the girl Kate is actually my wife of, um, I don't know, about six months ago. So you didn't know that and that's kind of like silly little reward for you finishing the game. But if you want to go a little bit further and get the best possible ending, then I've got an even better surprise for you. So maybe go ahead and do that. But again, thank you so much for playing and I hope you really love the game.